Sure, let's go. Yeah, All we need to order. Okay. Do you have anybody has any adjustments? I don't have anything. The only thing I wanted to mention is that we're probably going to be um, when we get to town meeting after we do the review of the warning. Um, Town meeting, special town meeting, and town meeting by all Australian ballot. Even though they're separately listed, I have a feeling we're going to be do them all together. Okay. We're going to be they're discussing kind of the it all, all at the same time. Okay. Um, Any public comment? Well, I don't know if this is a public comment, or not, but I was wondering if the procedure is to request, like, to have uh, the collector of delinquent taxes come to a meeting. To give us, kind of give us his protocols. I suppose we could request him to come to the meeting. We have, he has written a letter to the select board. Oh, he did, okay. Yeah, which is at the town office. <clears throat> I read it. Um, he requested that only the select board read it. Um, okay. But it's a pretty, it's pretty thorough letter, um, and it states his um, position very clearly. Um, I would suggest, Monty, that if you want to talk to the um, collector of delinquent taxes, you should just give them a call. I would rather have something that that's, uh, would be on your, you know. Well, well, we can request him to come. I, I'm willing to request right. him to come here. The problem is he's another elected official, so right. he may or may not do that. I think you'd come. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'll make a note of that. I mean, we can call him in sure. worst case scenario. Sure. But also suggest reach out to him if you well, have. I have reached okay. out. I'd rather get something on okay. record. Okay. And I would suggest you guys read the letter at some point. Okay, mm -hmm. I will do that. Yeah. And I don't know. So, so. All right. I'll see about calling him for maybe getting on the next meeting. But I'll make no promises because if he tells us to go <clears throat> pee up a rope, right. well, to do that. Being elected officially would be. I hope not. Hold on, I'll make a note here. Okay. Uh, proving the bills. Well, public oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I, I, back I guess I don't know when the appropriate time to bring up what I gave you is. Well, since it's uh, not on the agenda, go ahead and bring this, this up. This is the only time you yeah. can bring it up. Okay, so let me bring it up. Uh, I got a letter today I received. This is this one? Yes. Okay. And uh, it deals with a piece of property I have in Woodbury saying that uh, that has come to the uh, attention of the Agency of Natural Resources that a permit was issued approximately four years ago for a septic design on Ainsworth Road may be rescinded. This is your permit or, or someone else's permit? My your permit. Your permit, okay. Correct. <laughs> Based on information that they have uh, that there was some misleading information on my application. Uh, so I called the letter writer, Carlton W. Fuller, and he has indicated to me that uh, the petitioner says they own a spring on the property, which is an absolute lie because they do not own that spring. And part of their decision for sending that, this letter was based on that. So they have also indicated to me that there is no septic system on that property. It's a straight line from the house right to the brook. That's, this is right from the uh, Agency of Natural Resources. And they are telling me that the individual that are not living there, and I'm telling them that is inaccurate. The uh, select board has already determined that they are living there. And apparently there's been some lack of communication between the town and the Agency of Natural Resources. And as a result... What, can you tell us what that is? Yeah, I don't think we've had any communication with them. Have you, have, you, have you actually talked to Carlton Fuller? No, we have not. Um, we, okay, so, you know, with, and with, an, with, an, with the intention of, of embarrassing the select board, I asked him if he had any objections to having the chairperson. Yeah, Paul is the which chairman. Which is me today. Which is you now, yeah. okay. I just sent uh, today. Call and speak with the individual okay. because uh, there's some information that should be exchanged Okay, because we've had no communications with the agency of natural resources. And apparently that in there lies a problem. 
Well, there, why, the my only, question is, why would we? The only communication that we've had is with Ryan McCall, the enforcement. Well, which is just that, and, and this individual is very familiar with both those properties. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this is, you know, um, I don't really see why the town should have communicated with uh, Colton Fuller. Well, for what reason? They, 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 they are saying that property is not habitable, and the town has said the same thing. And apparently those two, one would think that the st state says that the same piece of property is uninhabitable, but the town and the state would communicate. Now, I'm not saying it's your fault, right. but some, amongst the two, the two, Right, you know, we, we've not issued a health order and we've not issued a, uh, hey. nothing. No. That's what I'm saying, that we have, there's been no determination of uninhabitableness by anybody that, on, on the town end that I'm aware of. Okay, no. so and, and that's, I guess, what I'm saying is the two need to get together and, and, uh -huh. and okay. have And that. I'll call him and see what, what they say. Unfortunately, we don't have a health officer, so. Okay. Yeah, we do. <laughs> yeah, actually, the chair, the chair of the select board. And I'm gone for office. the next three days, so good luck with that. Well, one of the key things that you should keep By in default. mind is the petitioners for all these permits to put in uh, right. know, water and sewer and all that. They're saying that they have a spring on their property. They have no spring right. on their property. The, the property that's located on is Tim Applicants. Yes. Right. And I, my understanding is Tim has indicated or has told them that they're not, he's not, they're not allowed to hook onto that spring because the property has been deemed abandoned. That's true. Tim has has made that statement to them. So I mean, that's but that would be a legal issue between Tim and that property owner. Because well, we it's also A and R. Right, no, I got that. We can't get in the middle of a spring right. rights issue. That's well, what I'm getting okay, at. Okay, but but I guess all I'm saying is the town needs to acknowledge the fact that right. it is. I'll, like I'll give them a call. Yeah, because yeah. we don't get any of this information on sewer unless the the the, the um, zoning officer doesn't get any information from sewer. Do that? Now, once the uh, permit is issued, we get. A Okay, but I don't. I've never seen any, so it must go to the. It goes into the land records. Okay. Well, I guess what I'm saying is there's some uh, dishonesty going on when they're saying that they own the, the spring. Sure. In fact, they don't. Yep. And I guess, in order for you to have a conversation, you have to have that knowledge, and I think you already do. Well, I'm aware of it now, but I mean. Well, that's just my hearsay. That's right. just me telling you that. But there's a survey that's been recorded with the town showing that spring. Right, which I'm not aware of. Is on. So I, I guess before you call them, you should make yourself aware of that. Okay, I can try. It's going to be a while because I'm gone a good portion of this week. Okay. Well, okay. I, I just think that because I'm in danger of having my permit revoked based on this guy lying to the state. Yeah, sure. well, I think if you told the state that, maybe they would go and check it out themselves. And they've been to the property, and they won't go inside. Uh -huh. You know, we all know that issue. Yeah. We have, don't know have, they look, have they looked at the deed and the town town records on, on the property? That I don't know. Okay. I can't attest to that. So, I, I don't know. You know t to me, it's kind of up to A&R to find out well, who's, that, who's I, I agree. I right. totally it agree. It sounds like that. an A&R issue, yeah. 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 But I would, I did tell them that I would have you know somebody from the select yep. board. I'll give them a call. It'll probably be Thursday. Okay. I'm, I'm leaving in the morning, and I won't be back till I hope, Thursday. I hope. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. You can come shovel snow in Watertown with me. <laughs> yeah. But I'll call. I'll try to see what I can do. But it sounds like, like with Appleton, they've got a he's got a legal issue with this property, and they got to fight over the spring. Um, so uh, I don't know if we get so into is that. The, is the um, owner of the Ainsworth Road property trying to get a permit for wastewater? Is that well, that's what, what that sounds like? Yes. yes. Oh, yeah, so they've hired, and he's uh, claiming that he has water. Well, he has around. hired the state. Yeah, yeah, somebody's yeah. hired Chase and Chase to the design a septic for system for the property. Mm -hmm. That's what this letter he must says. Have done that. I mean, yeah, that, that first I'm aware of it, but yeah. okay. Thank you. I'll call. Them. Any more public comment? All right. Um, do we have a motion to approve the bills of the town? I'll make that motion. I will second. Any discussion? None here. Not hearing none. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Okay, we're good. Um, how about the minutes? Motion to approve. Mm -hmm. I'll second that. Any discussion? 
All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. You're on, Robin. I guess the um, warning all done up and posted for the special town meeting on February 12th. I have it posted five places, the town office inside and outside, the post office, the bulletin board at the post office in the locked in section of it. And I put it on the town hall door and at Shatney's garage. And I also double checked with the school to make sure we were still okay to have the meeting in the school on the 12th. And Mr. K says we're all right with that. Yeah, okay. And that would change, go further down on the list. But. This is true. <laughs> now, there was uh, someone made a comment to me that it's hard to find that on the website. Is that something that we could address? I haven't looked myself. What's, what's that? The find the warning. Is it, it posted in a prominent, easy to find place? Well, I um. pulled it up when you looked at the screen, it was right dead center. No, 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 I'm saying, it, is it, is it uh, intuitive where you would click to find it? That was a comment I've made, and I haven't personally looked. It's usually right there okay, I, on the home page. Okay, I'll go and click. I think there's a category that says news or something. Or there's a, an events and calendar. <laughs> Tom. Yeah. Well, if you look at the events portion of the uh, banner that goes across, and if you click on the event that's posted on the website, Behind that, you'll see the run. Okay. So I could make it. Because I found it on under the calendar. calendar. I didn't put a calendar. Is there a way we could put like a, a, a banner that just says uh, special town meeting or something? There is one there. I don't want to say it's easy because I can't do it. So. <laughs> it, it it does exist. It does. Exist. Yeah, it's there. I just that was I just heard a comment that it isn't intuitive where to find it. I don't. Oh. It pops up like as soon as you go on. It's kind of right there. Okay. Pretty much right, right there. there. Yeah. All right. I would have clicked it. I wasn't home to click on it today. This is we were town meeting. This is a special. So it should is say special? special town meeting. Oh, that's March fourth. No, I guess I don't see the. Yeah, that was the comment that was made. It was just when they think they were hoping that when you open the page, it would be something that was like right in your face. Look at that. Is that something we can fix? Yeah, that's all mine looks like. Just, a, just a comment that I'd heard. If it's easy to fix, we let's fix it. Oh, I see it now. It's just under calendar. But I can't do it, so I'm not going to say it's easy. It's doable. Okay. <laughs> Make it but special. Someone else would have to do it. All right, keep going. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Do you have a question? I did. I just wondered if you said it was going to be at the special town meeting was going to be at the school or at the town hall? At the school. At the school. And why aren't we having it at the town hall? We were hoping and anticipating that there would be a lot of people there. And with the town hall, if there were a lot of people, there's not a lot of room to... People are kind of crowded too tightly together. Um, we didn't want it to be a COVID spreader event in Woodbury. So... And masks are required at that meeting. Because it's at the school. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that was our reasoning, um, Heather, is to have as much space as possible and uh, hopefully to have as many people as possible there because um, it's a pretty big decision to make. And um, so that's the reason. Yeah. Plus, it's colder in hell in the town hall. I'm glad it's we got meeting there tonight. You had to sit by the wood stove and burn. And it's a little bit easier to do uh, remote content right up there because there's no internet there. access um, yeah. which which we so, will have for so we'll have a screen and we'll have people be able to join remotely right on. okay getting back to the yeah. morning it is on the event part of the uh, okay it is but i can put it on yeah, you just heard the comment if you can do it easily please put it on the calendar part as well yeah that would be mm -hmm. awesome if you could thank you perfect really appreciate it all right continue robin and I got an email this morning from Central Vermont Regional Planning Commission wanting to know if we have been updating our bridges and culvert data. Yes. Has it, has Chuck uh, says yes. As of the okay. summer, certainly. Okay. Did you hear that, Chuck? Yeah, he did. He said yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, you said yes. We've been updating our bridges and culverts. That's right. Yeah. And actually, the Regional Planning Commission is overdue to do another culvert inventory for the town. For the town. Yeah. So. Okay, and they would like somebody to send back an email letting them know yes or no if. Can okay. you send me their contact information? Mm -hmm. 
just email it to me and I'll respond mm -hmm. to them. Okay. That Chuck said yes. Okay. And I've had um, very little land recordings the last two weeks. So, mm -hmm. working on the phone report with Diane and Brandy, and that's been taking up the time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Anybody got any questions for Robin? Is it too late to get something into the um, town report? Thank you, town report. <laughs> <laughs> it's a book. It comes to the house. We're <laughs> <laughs> <Or> finding issues. <laughs> Well, that was a question I had. The, the reason I, I sent the question to it that everybody saw by statute, we have to s keep it open for 47 days prior to the meeting, which is this Thursday. Thursday. Sure. So it has to be to the to the printers by Friday. Okay, so we could we could sign it Friday morning, correct? Saying what? The the, the warning. The warning. Because if we, I'm just worried if a petition or some other request comes in prior to Thursday that we would be out of compliance. Mm -hmm. Well, we need to give John a. Right. Well, they have to get everything together too before right. we send it in. But. Well, I'm just going by what the statute says. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, the answer We're not to that part on it yet, but that was a question the I had. Friday. Is that okay? No. No. no Thursday. Thursday. No, we would like it. It's not too late. By statute, it'd have to be the end of business Thursday. It's, but that's 47 days before the meeting. For practicality, you think about just if you can get it more? sooner. I'm just thinking about whether the town wants something about ARPA in there. Oh. Mm -hmm. On the warning, um, no, I don't. In the report, just a report. Oh, in the report. Page about what, that, what it is. That wouldn't. That could. That be would a good be good, idea. actually. Yeah. Be great, but yeah. If you can get it in before yeah. Thursday, <laughs> or even sooner, is better. Right. It says right in the thing from the league. It says it's really polite if you get it in by the <laughs> last select board meeting. And that's really not part of the warning, which is what the right, statute just a, is. Just a report. That's more for the printer and for the town report. So you'd have till Friday. Well, so. No, no, no. Have it to them no. By so it's okay. <laughs> Please don't do that. So I'm not trying to be a pain. <laughs> so for those of you working on the report, what day would you? Because I, I have a select board report that I haven't finished yet either. They'd like it today, but the problem that's a question for us three to answer. Are we going to approve the warning tonight? Or well, are we going to wait to the, the statutory is, the, yeah, That's the, later the, on in the... Yeah, the warning is, is separate from the town report. The town report. I mean, it's part of the re town report. Because we could receive a petition for the warning up until Thursday by law, is what I'm saying. Right. Then you might have to redo your warning. Correct. Right. So it's, I'm okay with that. If you got, we'll get there. We'll yeah. get there. We're not on that part right. yet. But, so when, when do you need reports by? Today. ASAP. Okay, tomorrow. Yesterday, All right, realistically. Tomorrow. It's almost done. <laughs> All right. Okay. All if right. we could, if we could have that Thursday or earlier. Or yeah, earlier. I thought it's just going to be. It could be just that a paragraph. Be just something. Just here's what's going on. on. Very basic, just a short very simple, set of statements would be lovely. Yeah, yeah. we can do that because every lovely. everybody in yeah. town would get it, and and I would imagine that the, not everybody in town knows what what, ARPA, what the American Rescue Plan yeah. Act is and what the town. Yeah. Yeah, it would but be great. John Reed, the auditor, it has to put everything. Yeah. It has to basically yeah. death count, publish everything before no, it goes to the printer. So, yeah. you know, I was just surprised that there was, it was actually in statute, but it's there. I never knew that either. Yeah, I didn't either. Someone, I looked it up, and that's what mm -hmm. it says, 20, uh, 47 days. 47 days. For, 47, so I counted back 47 is Thursday. The reason I brought up is because Callis had in there... Uh, Work for them that their stuff is all due no later than the end of business on Thursday, and that's because that's the statutory deadline. So I looked it up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, town caucus or pre town meeting? That's, that's later on in the warning. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. we're going to be going into that. You got more, Robin? No, nope, that's okay. it. Okay. Any, oh, we did Robin's questions. All right. Treasurer's report. Over the last two weeks, payroll totaling $8,853.89. Accounts payable, $71,892.15. Incoming for cash receipts, $2,011.20. Detailing land recording, marriage license, copies, zoning permit. Um, delinquent taxes over the last two weeks, $2,259.35. Transfers in from the state for the highway for class two and three roads, $18,024.84. And 
traffic fines of $76.79. As far as transfers from the money market over into the checking, it totaled 61000 that I transferred to pay for cover for bills. Um, knocking at the door is W-2s, so my plan is to get those out by Thursday. Um, and I was... Um, and then I have surgery lined up for next Wednesday that I'll be out for at least four weeks. Um, and my laptop is being finished, um, putting emails and other goodies on there so I can work from home. So will you be doing your work or be completely out? It's my right hand. Uh, I just went through that my with right my left hand. <laughs> Nine weeks in the cast, it was great. Um, we'll see. There's a lot of steps I have to, to um, before even surgery comes. That I have a nice scar like this. Um, so yeah, I've lined up Tom. For so you have a replacement, okay? Yes. Um, but I'll be able to do transfers at home. <coughs> I can get on there if he needs assistance. Um, when does this start it. again? My surgery is on the 19th. Of this month, okay. Next Wednesday. And you said for how many weeks? Um, they're saying I'll be in a sling for six. I start PT after two. You're going to get a cast? No. Oh. No cast. You'll really enjoy that. You know. It's my show. Casts are awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Questions? I don't have any. Anybody got a question mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. Brandy? Good luck. Well, Brandy. Yeah, I hope it goes yeah, good for you. Good luck. I'm glad you don't have to get a cast. They're not much fun. Okay. Uh, highway. Yes. Yeah, so um, I have um, on the agenda uh, David Upson, and I assume that that's you. Hello, that's okay. That's who's in the corner. Yeah. That I didn't recognize. Yeah. Um, so I'm Paul. Hi, Paul. It's Chris and Stuck Chris. Remember and Michael. Yeah. Um, so. Um, hey, Chuck. What's the temperature down there? Did anybody ask you that yet? No, it was 82 today. Oh, <laughs> man, that's terrible. That's why we didn't have <laughs> shall, shall we tell them what the temperature is up here? <laughs> four. No, we don't want to say. <laughs> it's four. I'm going to move up here okay. so you can hear me. Yep. So, um, four degrees? Something in that neighborhood. Okay. So, wow. Dave, David is the new Hardwick Town Manager, and he sent us a letter. Um, <laughs> about the, our mutual um, agreement that we have, a town highway mutual agreement, um, which is basically the town of Hardwick plows the roads up in West Woodbury in the winter time and a small section of a road going into Nichols Pond, which is actually a Hardwick uh, road, but they do plow a little bit of the Woodbury road to the turnaround. Um, and I guess, I think the mutual aid agreement was a verbal one. It was done back in the days of uh, Larry, um, boy, I'm Harry Daly, as a road foreman. So I think I'm, I'm not sure what David is is looking for, and he can explain it a little bit better. I had a conversation with him, and Chuck did also. I think we're just trying to to relook at this uh, agreement that we have, um, and. Uh, and maybe establish a new one that would actually be written down somewhere. That's kind of my impression. Um, but David, I'll give you the okay. I'll give you the floor. And, and I just want to add to that, just make okay. the agreement more equitable mm -hmm. right. uh, for both towns. So this all came up um, when the driver for that route came to me and winter was coming. And he said that there's a house up on West Woodbury that he's concerned about hitting something. Uh, because of the road narrows there and there's all sorts of debris on there's a mm -hmm. refrigerator next to the road and and he said well I don't want to be liable for that and then I, something came up like why are we plowing roads in Woodbury and then so then that's how this happened so mm -hmm. um, if if there was a complaint up there from my driver I have no recourse with with those people with the right. people up on this with and there have been complaints right in the past so that is that's your that, mm. that, that they would have to come to you mm -hmm. so I just want to you know there's that piece and then I started looking at the financial end of things and I talked to um, Tom Fadden our road mm -hmm. foreman and we came up with some numbers which I 
which I sent to you mm -hmm. guys. Mm -hmm. um, those were rough numbers, conservative in some places, um, and estimates in others. I used the FEMA rate for the truck. Mm -hmm. That's no driver. Um, so that's what we bill for a truck for in-kind payment for mm -hmm. uh, matching, grant matching. And then I used um, the overtime rate, uh, uh, two-thirds of the overtime rate for a driver and one-third of the, the straight time because most of the plowing that's done in the wintertime is on overtime. Mm -hmm. um, so that's where I came up with those numbers. And then I guess this past summer I wasn't um, the town manager yet, but this past summer was a day of hauling, I think it was between 12 and 15 loads of gravel mm -hmm. for Cape Brook Road in Hardwick, totaling uh, $2,800, mm -hmm. $2,891.25. And then I took the same truck rate of $65 an hour, and then I think I used um, $25 an hour for the, um, the man hours. Mm -hmm. I, I could be a little off on that, but basically the rough estimate was we're like 11.5, and you guys last year were 3,600, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. just roughly. Because yep. we didn't haul any sand, right? Because that was original. No, that, was it was what we did last summer was unusual. Usually we'd spend, yep. have two, two road crew members spend a week helping haul the winter sand. So yep. it's usually probably a little bit more equitable. And we, we use the uh, V-Trans um, equipment rate rates, okay. which are quite a bit more than the FEMA rates. So. Okay. But all in all, it would still come out. It still comes out, yeah. So I could use yeah. the V-Trans rates for my Yeah, membership. we'd still be out of balance. Yeah, yeah. we'd still be out of balance, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah well... This year we had quite a time getting Tommy to lock into what he wanted to do. Yeah. We thought we were all sand and he had so much going on that we ended up on gravel and he said he was happy and he and Greg had been working it out so I let it go with that. Yeah. Okay. Um, we were after Tom for about six weeks and I'm not putting him down or anything. Like he had a lot going on and just Fair like we did. So that's how some of that happened. Uh, yep. I, I guess that's all I got to say on that part. You know, there's, you know, hauling sand in the summer, there's no plow on a truck. You're hauling pretty much on mm -hmm. flat mm -hmm. level roads. You know, you're not beating on equipment. So mm -hmm. just right. putting that out there. Well, how, how should we proceed then, David? How would you like to well, proceed on um, this? Well, there's, there's a couple different ways that mm -hmm. I was thinking. Um, we can assume the road maintenance, um, and you guys can, we can come up with a, an annual cost. Mm -hmm. um, we can throw in, um, we can throw in a greater run or two mm -hmm. um, with chloride up there. So when we run Cape Brook, we'll do Westwoodbury as well. Um, so you guys don't have to run the greater all the way around. Mm -hmm. That's that's up to you. Um, and we can come up with, uh, you know, crunch the numbers and come up with a, of just a flat rate each year um, where you pay the town of Hardwick. Or we got to take over the plowing again. Or you can take over the plowing. Right. Or, or we can, I mean, I'm, I'm really not too keen on the horse trading that's been going on. Okay. Um, yeah. With liability, mm -hmm. with um, just the way the world is right now. Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. So um, you can... So my, my thought with this is we've put a third road crew person on. Is it Chuck, is it possible for us to just simply take over the plowing of that again? Anything's possible. I mean, they used to do it with two men. Right. Because uh, that certainly makes it a whole lot easier for everybody. Mm -hmm. Can I ask that question? Yeah. So um, if, you, if you bill us or, you horse, or if you trade labor for labor, yeah. either way you're still liable. So I mean, it wouldn't matter if if we paid you, you're going to be liable, or if we trade labor for it, you'd still be liable. Yeah, well, I, the liability piece isn't really the driving factor here; it's the inequity. Well, I understand. Yeah, I mean, but it would make sense to have something on paper saying, right. all right. So at the end of the day or end of the year, yeah, uh, we put in eleven thousand, fifteen hundred bucks, or whatever it was, eleven thousand five hundred bucks. Yeah, and we got to come up with that much to support you. I mean, I think if you had something in writing that says that, yeah, yeah, that's what I'd be I don't saying. Think you, I mean, for a town to put a budget item on it, I would, I'd rather not see that. If we could. 
in my opinion. Yep. Mm -hmm. the, the, only, the only question I have is when your truck comes around to do West Woodbury Mountain and our driver hasn't made it because he's doing the bus routes and he hasn't done Cape Brook, what kind of, what problem is that going to be? But see, was, this agreement was only seven or eight years ago ish. So, so they always did it prior to that. Yeah. Well, well it, we'll it's been at least, it's, ever it's been more than eight on. years because it was already in effect when Before I. Before you got on, okay, so it's on. been yeah. eight or ten. But just barely, I think. I don't know. Monty, you were probably on the select yeah, board. What's going on? Yeah. I, yeah. It's been quite a while, I'd say. Yeah. More like 15. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. But I would think if, if our truck goes around, checks the road, and it hasn't been plowed, that we should. Wow, that's wow, right. But you see, that's a uh, did the bus go up there? <laughs> no. That's not a bus route. Right? So we would it'd probably be the very last road to get done. It would be. That our yeah. guys do it. Uh, I know the old days. Why they did this is they were having to take the chains off the truck, drive around to Cape Brook, put the chains back on, plow the road, come back down, take the chains off, drive back to Woodbury, put the chains back on. <laughs> now, do they run chains on the low pro, or could we send the low pro up there to do that road? Okay. It's a six-wheel drive truck. Back on the situation with glare eyes, I would think run chains. Yeah, chained up. so you'd have to put yeah. them on. Yeah. Yeah. And the people yeah, up in the field grade are just to complain that they're the last one. Really yeah, right. Putting that forty-nine hundred down to to uh, gravels, getting the sand there, and going up and plowing the sand and bringing it back to gravels, and coming back to Woodbury. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe we should think about We don't have to make a decision no, no, tonight. We don't have to decide tonight. Okay. Oh, of course not. Let's, let's and, and you're set for, I mean, this This is the way it's going for this winter. Okay. And, you know, nothing's But moving change. forward, I agree with you. We do I, need to resolve yeah. it. It's inequitable. And yeah. whatever gets done, we either go back, mind you, we either go back to doing it ourselves or we'll do it in writing and there would be a, a right? I mean, we. One other thing, I think I mentioned it to you, Dave. Maybe we could own Cape Brook for you. Yeah. Yep, we can talk about that too. That's a great. That's a great idea. Yep. You know, we kept your road honed up in the summertime, and then you plowed the whole thing in the wintertime. Yep. And we can do the same thing with uh, Nichols Pond Road. While we're out there, we can hone that. Nick. The whole thing. Nichols Pond Road isn't really that much of a concern because it's um, so small. There's, it's there's one road. resident out there, um, right. and we need to. There's a spot to turn around in Woodbury, so. Um, that wasn't a, a huge concern of mine. I I know that there's a bus there's a business out there that they would like to see that plowed, and we would be more than willing to do that if it was brought up to snuff. Mm -hmm. yeah, so um, we the, the select board and I have talked about that. We're, yeah. we're definitely going to do something with the road in the spring. So yeah, yeah. yeah. So Chuck, it would almost seem that it would be better for you and Greg to work with David here to come up with either saying, hey, we're going to take it all back over, or come up with the agreement that w of which we would put in writing and then present that to us instead of us trying to get in the middle of it. Well, for one thing, if we take it back over, if we take power back over, we're going to have a problem with Greg. Well, that could be. But yeah. that's why I hate to dictate to you. I'd rather you guys, if you can figure it out, wouldn't it make the most sense? It would. Uh, like I say, I would be more interested in maybe owning Cape right. Brook, keeping right. Cape Brook in shape for you guys. And so if we leave it that in the next month or so, could you guys get together and work it out? We can, yeah, I'll talk to Greg and I'll get a hold of Dave if that's all right, Dave. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Okay. So and, uh, yeah, absolutely. So we'll, we'll, we'll think, thanks. Go ahead. I think we should, uh, Try to figure out what we use for yardage for sand up there, and Woodbury should pay for the sand. Yeah. So I'll leave it up to you guys, and maybe in a month I'll put you on the first February meeting. Is that enough time, or you want two months? Oh, let's split it in half. Take six weeks. Okay, middle of February meeting. <laughs> Fair enough. Or maybe yeah. Uh, but just make sure you've got it down on a piece of paper. Of what you guys want to do that I think it's easier than us trying to say hey you're gonna do this and we're gonna tell them that and they're not happy about it and I can report I can send you another letter if you want based on the our meeting okay or Chuck we can come 
to an agreement and Chuck can report back to you guys, however you want to do it. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're the boss here. Work with Chuck and Greg, we're Chuck and Greg get and it to us once you guys have come to terms and then we'll more than likely agree with what you agree with. Okay. You go. Good enough. Probably should get Tommy in on it a little bit too. Yep. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. See Tommy's doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because then we are in the middle of it. But we would need to eventually, but it's just... Not yet. If we say do it well, this way, then they don't like it. This winter, by spring, we certainly should be able to have it straightened out. Yeah. 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 All right, I'm happy. Perfect. Okay. Good, good sir. I don't want to take up any more All right. time. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. For, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Really really appreciate it. Thank you for bringing it up. Yep. And this is this is great civic engagement here. Yep. <laughs> I wish we could get this many people at our town. Our, our <laughs> just get something controversial going. You'll get people there. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Just make great Tell them you're gonna buy it. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> thank, you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. See you, David. Thank you. See you, David. All right. You got anything else, Chuck? More on your report. Uh, you know, I've had a little correspondence with Patrick up on the King Frame again. Yeah. Yeah. He's looking for more signs. I, I had a conversation with him too, Chuck. And that is one heavy boy right there. Right. I think our decision was no signs, correct? Right. Uh, yeah. Uh, and I, it was, their decision was no speed bumps or, or uh, drainage ditches. Um, Signs, we already put signs up there saying 15 miles an hour and respect the landowner. Okay, yeah. so it seems like we've done what we were going to do. Yeah. And that's oh, we've definitely done all the, we said we were going to do and then some. Okay. Yeah. I pretty much told them the same okay. thing. There wasn't that's really anything more that it. we could do. Um, that's what I pretty much told him the other day. He wanted me to call him and he sent me an email, I mean a... Uh, Text back, said he didn't need to talk right now, so I don't know if he got the message or not. Okay. Mm -hmm. Other than that, um, we talked about last week there was a grant around for fixing blacktop and patching holes and stuff. Yeah. Did you remember that? Yep. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> To fix the holes and seal it on South Woodbury and the Cabot Road is going to be between eight and ten thousand dollars. Okay. And I think that grant was for ten thousand. See, it was the grant. Um, it can be for quite a bit. It depends on the project. Um, so that's not a problem. And I think the town pays uh, ten percent. That's our match for that paving grant. So we have, and I think we have seventeen thousand dollars in our paving fund at the moment. Last time, that's what my memory is telling me right at the moment. Well, the, so the, uh, the holes in the apron at the end of Town Farm Road, I'm working on them with the state. But if we don't get anywhere with them, it, that's actually their responsibility. But I'm not getting anywhere with them. Uh -huh. Um, we need to do something there. Somebody's going to tear a front end or a front end. Okay. There. Well, those those projects, any, the paving grants only apply to Class Two town highways, which we have two of them: the Cabot Road and Foster, and Hill, Foster Road. Hill. Right. So right, any, but I'm talking, we need to do something with these. Besides yep. Okay. So if we got a quote on that, we do have some money in the paving fund. We could fix that if the state doesn't do it. All right. Mm -hmm. I'll put it on the list for Okay. Mm -hmm. We may have to get permission from the state to do that. To do that. Um, yeah, they tried that with me. The, the apron that they put in, they tried to say wasn't done correctly, want us to pay for it. I just explained to them we're replacing <laughs> what's there, and that's how that went. Yeah. Okay. Well, suddenly we got the permit. Well, speaking of done properly, I don't know how they can say that South Woodbury entrance right. on the 14th was done properly the way they left that. Not properly. Yeah. Chuck just got small. <laughs> he did get small. I don't know why either. He's back. There you go. He's back big again. Okay, good. I guess that's about all I have for the <coughs> Okay, I, I put a couple things on the agenda. Um, one, I, yeah, one is I uh, just wanted to mention that the equipment grant that we've been talking about for the roller, um, for um, for 
the road grading, um, right now that grant is on hold. They had quite a number of people that responded to it, so and more, you know, more people asking for more money than they have. So um, it's going to get looked at again in the spring. So right now that's on hold. And then I, I wanted to bring up um, the bicycle safety signs that we talked about. I think it was last spring. Last spring, sp um, last spring yeah. I think it was, it been, it was August, I think. Yeah, it was. I can't remember when. It was, it was, August. One of the it was August. August. Okay. okay. All right. Um, so we, at the time, uh, the select board approved um, these safety signs, and then um, the road crew felt that the signs were illegal. I sent an email to VTrans asking them about it, um, and um, Shauna Clifford forwarded the email to somebody in VTrans, I can't remember who it was, and, and never really heard back from him, and then I kind of forgot about it. Um, and then Skip asked, what's going on with it? Um, Skip Lindsay, and I rechecked with Shauna, she resent the email, uh, still didn't get a response, so uh, Skip did his own research into the matter. Um, and sent us an email, I believe I sent it on to everybody. Um, but basically, um, the, sign, the sign that the uh, Planning Commission selected um, is an approved sign, and according to the research that Skip did, there's nothing illegal about them at all, as long as they're placed in the town highway right of way. Um, so kind of hoping that, um, that this is pretty much cleared up and that the road crew could do that uh, next summer sometime. Uh, yeah, yeah, as long as it's cleared up and everybody's happy, I will, does anybody have a picture of the sign? Of what they yes, I, I can send that to you, I think I, yeah, I can send that to you, um, I could probably find the original email that the Planning Commission sent everybody um, that does have the sign on it. I can send it to you. Okay, all right. Skip's going to send it to Skip you. Lindsay's going to send it to you. <clears throat> Get the signs made up so that uh, fact, this yeah. spring when we're getting ready to do the road work, we'll put them up. Okay, go ahead. He was, Chuck, you were part of the original email I sent back on January 5th. You so you were in the original email, so you probably have it already yeah. from Skip? Oh, yeah, all right, I'll look. Because I did see send the pictures it. of it. Might be best. Send it to him again. So, sometimes it's hard to find stuff. Yeah, for me it is. Yeah, me too. Because I'm busy, my wife is. Right. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Michael. Okay, so looks like we're good with that. Um, All right, I'll get that made up. Okay. So that, that was it on, on uh, you know, things That's that I That's all you have. Anybody got any questions for Chuck? Okay. Actually, this is probably a, a moot question, but where does money come for bicycle signs out of our budget? It's come out of our sign budget. Sign budget. There's, yeah. there's signs in the highway budget. Yeah. It's not a lot. It's like eight hundred and forty dollars, I think. So. All right. So we'll move on to okay. town meeting warning. All right. So I had I had some comments and questions about the warning just for editing. I have a copy that I printed out. Oh, okay. I'll take a copy. Thanks, Miss Turkey. Thanks, Miss. Sure. Um, so just a couple of editing things. Um, in Article 1, uh, I'm wondering if everything could be consistent, um, like with a select board member, um, one year remaining on a three-year term, instead of having the one written out, it would just be the number one, like all of the other, other ones that are listed there. And it's just a simple editing thing, but, and I'm fine with it the way it is, too, but it just it just kind of stuck out to me that it was a little inconsistent that way. Um, 
And then the, the English teacher in me wonders under Article 2, um, the part uh, for uh, $200 to Salvation Farms provides fresh vegetables to Vermont farms. Um, I don't, does a comma need to be there? <laughs> for comma? <laughs> yeah. that, that's just the English teacher in me. So, um, if you, don't, if you don't make any changes on the second page, you can make Well, actually, the second page, I have, have more comments. Okay. Um, so, uh, Article 7, um, is there another way of saying modified cash basis financial statements that people will understand? I took that from <coughs> the uh, proposal that came from the company, the audit company, because I was looking for something more to say than just audit. Uh -huh. So that's what they made the proposal on. So. Well, I mean, they probably know what that means, but yeah, but, but that's um, how we run. That's how we run our accounting is on a modified cash. Okay. Okay. Basis. okay. So legally, it's probably best to probably have that. Probably a good thing to say. Okay. All right. Okay. So that's. Um, and then. Um, with the uh, Article 8 for the uh, um, appropriation um, for the funding for the cemetery, cemeteries in town, um, I was wondering if we, you know, part of the plan is to hire a sexton who would oversee the different cleaning and repairing of the monuments and would that, should that be mentioned in there? Or does it make it too complicated? Well, because yeah, well, I think it's a because oh, if we're if we're oh, the, sounds like articles. the sexton's going to be a contractor, right? So I, so it's just the money. It's just the money article, really. Okay, all right. Should be in the report. Right. Yeah. Should be in the cemetery commission's report. Okay, all right. So that was that question, and then we're uh, actually hiring an employee for the town. I think we would put it in there. Right. So then the the, the last two articles just are just. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Chuck. I just Break in, tell Skip that I've got that sign. He found okay. it. He found it. <laughs> she found it. I'll be accurate. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Karen for us. Yeah. <laughs> all right, I think I'm going to back out of here if you guys are all set. Hey, go sit okay. on your porch for me in your okay. short. That's exactly what I was thinking. Thank you. <laughs> See you, Chuck. Have See you, Chuck. Night. Bye, Chuck. Bye. Night. Night. <laughs> um, so, and then just the last two articles, should, should they be 9 and 10? Yep. Yeah. Oh, God, I have to go to the year. Okay. And that's, that's it for me on there. I don't know if it says anything. I'll um, say goodbye to Chuck here. Uh, let's see. Who's the bald guy with, oh, that's me. <laughs> that's me. That's sure. me. That's sure. Good night, Chuck. Third, um, Salvation Farms. Last year was the first year that we funded them, so that's why that uh, line was in there. It doesn't really have to be in there at all this year. The other, none of the other um, appropriations have explanations, so maybe I should just take that sentence out. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Um. Good with it the way it is. Yeah, I'm, I'm, calm, I'm, of course. Oh, yeah, I'm happy to leave it. Yeah, okay. happy to leave it. We've got to get our comma rules out. <laughs> right. The comma can stay there too. I guess. my other question do we hold this till Thursday um, I'll abide by what the other two want to do 
Well, my thought is we could approve it tonight, and then if there is something that comes up last minute, um, then we would just have to meet again. Yeah, as long to, as we're willing to change it. I just don't want to tell somebody if they do something that right. I'm fine with that. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm willing right. to change it if somebody has a... I'd rather, amend, I'd rather vote on it and amend it later. Okay, so somebody make a motion. Motion to approve. Um, I'll second per it. With... Excuse me. With the proviso. Motion to approve with corrections. Yeah. But I, should we also, with the proviso, we'll add something if it comes in before thir the end of the day, Thursday? We have to, right? You have to by statute. That's my mm -hmm. promise. That's yeah. what statute says. So, motion to tentatively approve with corrections pending revisions by Thursday at end of business, 5 p.m. Well, the, the, uh, the reason it's rushed is because of the town report having to go to the prison. Yeah, no, no, I got it. I, I fully understand. I just don't want to be against I statute. I think that there's something that might come in, like if the fire department decides. Yeah, I don't know. No. Probably not. <laughs> it may be coming, but it's not going to make it for town meeting day, I don't oh. think. <laughs> um, I'll second. Okay, we've got a new motion. motion and a second. Do you guys have any discussion? I am comfortable with that approach. Comfortable yeah. with it too. Me too. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Anybody who's we all voted yes. So I'll make those changes and if you want to stop by sometime during the week and actually sign it, that would be nice, but it's not really necessary because the signatures won't go in the town report. Right, right. <laughs> So it'll say, I'll say approved as of end of business Thursday. Of of Thursday. So would it be there to be signed by Thursday or oh, yeah. tomorrow, Wednesday? Tomorrow? tomorrow? Okay. Yeah. I have to work tomorrow because Rob is going to take her husband to get his eye operated on. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. Pre-town meeting. I guess it's town meeting update first. Yep. Yeah, so... Um, where I have oh, it's here somewhere. This, this, oh, so yeah. The so, Senate's working. Yeah, there's right a past. the latest word from um, the Senate. Um, they passed this. I guess it hasn't gone to the House yet. Is um, yeah, it has. It has. Okay. So it's in, over at the House. It's yeah. totally approved. Yeah. Okay. Totally so it is approved. passed. Just not okay. signed by the governor yet, probably. Right. Okay. So, um, and it basically gives towns the um, right to. Um, have uh, Australian ballot um, for the town meeting, um, any of the uh, voting. Um, and we could also postpone our meeting if, if we wish to. Um, so I'm just trying to. Yeah, there are a few like things that are going to be they got tents and stuff like that. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think we're going to do it. Well, and technically, we can't do it yet until the governor signs it. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. I'd rather go forward with our approach as best as we can. With a live meeting or an Australian ballot meeting? With Australian ballot meeting. Yeah, no, that, that would be. That's what I would prefer to that, do. That would be my recommendation, too. Yeah. Yeah. And this was no mail-in ballots, correct? It's just right. Australian we ballots. We can do postcards. We, we can House do postcards. Cards I'm fine with, but we do postcards. people would yeah. request. But I think we can't technically do it until, is the bill complete? Is the well, we're not going to, we don't have to deal with this until after we're done with the town report. Okay, so we right. could do it at the next meeting. Well, maybe not to. Well, the question's going to be the meeting on the 12th. Yeah, and there is wording in this. I was thinking, well, maybe we could just have on the warning the um, articles that are will be um, on the special town meeting, but the last provision here. Yeah, um, we, I don't think we can do that. We can't do that. So the provisions of 17 VSA 2680 uh, parentheses E shall apply to any municipality that votes to hold the 2022 annual municipal meeting by Australian ballot pursuant to subsection A of this section, a municipality shall not warn any question on whether the municipality shall adopt the Australian ballot method of voting on a permanent basis for any or all articles for any subsequent municipal election. So we couldn't do that. Well, I was thinking town meeting day, but I'm saying we, we have already warned one. Yeah, yeah. no, no, that's what I'm saying. I was thinking maybe we could do. Yeah, we can't. We could just put it on the warning. Yeah, but, no, we can't. We can't. So we, can't. we gotta so, keep that. So we still have to do the special town so meeting. So the question would be, do we want to move both meetings to Australian ballot? In my mind. 
One of the problems is our town moderator doesn't want to doesn't moderate. Want to the moderate the meeting that way. Right. There's a bunch of people that are concerned. I think the town moderator would be less concerned if everyone at that meeting, the special town meeting, was wearing a mask. And we can't necessarily guarantee that. Um, well, we're sort of because we're using the school gym, we sort of we sort of have to. Sort of have to. Again, I mean, go back to my question: How do you provide access to someone to the meeting if they we would have remote them? access? Okay. So, if a person has an issue with wearing a mask, they would have to um, access Attend it remotely. And then, remotely. my question: would be, If we do one Australian, why wouldn't we do both? You um, already warned an open meeting. No, I got it. I'm just asking the question. Right. Well, that's um, to me, and actually, maybe I just have a question for Monty. Monty, um, you submitted it. So, what is your opinion? <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, I assume that the reason that you submitted this is, you know, from last year when we did do Australian Ballot, obviously we had a lot more people that had a say in, in what happened, uh, which is a good thing. Um, so, my cons you know, one of the concerns I have about the special town meeting is that there are probably going to be a lot of people that just don't want to be there because it's an in-person meeting. So I'm going to be out of town that weekend, yeah. too. So we're going to be voting on Australian ballot, which allows more people to vote, and there may be just a handful of people there that make the decision, which kind of is counter to what the what we're meeting there for. And that's just the situation. It's not... I'm, I mean, ideally, if, I, I would like to see the discussion. Yeah. But... Um, it's kind of like town meeting. There's only a few people that go to that and they decide it. That's kind of... Yeah. Well, we have, we've had a, well over 100 people at our well, town yeah, meetings, but not, not the, the, three, three, the 300 people. But usually it's 100, 120, somewhere. Yeah, like yeah. So we usually have a pretty good turnout. Um, so, you know... Or if you had a hybrid... Had, had well, a, that's that's the plan. Yeah, yeah. Is um, And I have... That's part of the... I don't know how you're going to vote with a hybrid meeting, though. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you yeah. had 40 people on the screen, how are you going to vote? Well, there is a way for people to raise their hand. There is a way for, that they could do that. But you can't see 40 people. That's been my experience. Like well, a 10-people meeting is easy, but you get, I was in one this weekend for 30 people. and right. you you can't, can. Somebody leaves their mic on and the thing feeds back and mm -hmm. makes all kinds of weird noise. And yeah, I think we would just have to deal, I mean, we would just have to deal with that situation as best we can. Um, hopefully we would have somebody uh, kind of monitoring the... Um, the laptop is probably what we're going to be using. Um, yeah, that's the only way we're going to do it. Yeah, um, and I, I, you know, I do have remote access. And I'll talk some more about that. But that, if we, you know, we're going to have the special town meeting. Um, there's no way that we can't. Right, we have to have it. it. Yeah, we have to have it. Okay, Di uh, Diana had something. Yeah. I did a little research today to find out <laughs> whether um, it would be possible to go back to. Um, to basically postpone the meeting, take the 60 days you can take to do the announcement of the warning and then the 30 days that by that time we'd be in the spring and we could go down to the town hall and have the windows open and people might be more likely to come. Because like Monty said at the last meeting, it's an important issue and it should be discussed. Mm -hmm. That's I, I think that's why the legislature put that in what they did for the, but that only applies to the annual meeting. Mm -hmm. So that's another possibility, and uh, I talked with an attorney at the Secretary of State's office, and he thought that was a possibility to just put it off, rescind the warning, you know, cancel the warning. The board can't rescind it. What? The can't. board can't rescind it. Well, they can post, they no, no, not now, they can't. Well, we could check well, with the Secretary of State's office. Uh-huh. Yeah. Who did you talk to? Uh, Jenny. Poser. Uh -huh. She works for the Secretary of State's office. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, we're we're going to be voting by Australian ballot this year, anyway. Um, I I would like to make an inquiry of the Secretary of State's office. Um, because we can only delay it to the end of the third week in March. Uh -huh. That's the latest we could possibly get. But I'm not clear once we've okay. warned a meeting that we can cancel it. All right. I really don't well, think like I can. Say, I'll send you the email I got from J.P. Isabel. And, uh, okay. There is something in the statute that says you can't, oh, you can't cancel a long meeting, but mm -hmm. you can maybe reschedule it. Well, let's... We'll just check that out, Monty. And otherwise, let's plan on having it be on February 12th, as it's been as warned. As it's been warned. Yeah, in the yeah. school. And uh, we'll just, you know, try to get the best remote access set up that we can have um, so that those people also have an opportunity to voice their opinion and also vote. Um, I also and, 
have an idea. I was going to ask Steve, and I haven't uh, yet, but whether it would be possible to have an open meeting, have a ballot box, have a little handwritten ballot like we do sometimes, a paper ballot, and allow people, if they've already made up their minds, to come in, put their check in, put their ballot in the box, and leave and not have to hang around. I don't think you can do that. It's either got to be a... Well, then, that's what I'm asking. Because again, you'd have to, because the, we do the, have the paper on, ballots at right, but the, open someone meeting. on the floor has to request a paper ballot, right. and then everyone votes on paper. You got to do right. it one way or the other. Right. Yeah. Well, we could right. just make that a you know a yeah. informal formality. Right 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 that's the intention is to just say bring it to a paper. Ballot. But again, so you're governed. This is you're governed by Robert's rules of order. Someone mm -hmm. has to make the motion, and then it has to be passed. Yeah. Yeah. That could happen. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Meeting. If you did that early, yeah, that's not going to help people that don't attend. Hmm? That's going to help. That will not help people that are not doing well, it. Okay, help. here's what it says: The select board may cancel a special town meeting called by them. The select board may not cancel a special meeting that has been called upon a petition of five percent of the voters unless the voter who withdraws his or her name from the petition prior to the warning being signed by the majority of the select board drops the percentage below the five percent. So we can't cancel the meeting. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what the statute says. All right. Okay. Be able to reschedule it. Well, it's already been warned. Right, it has been warned. Yeah. That would be canceling. Well, yeah, we'll look into it. it uh, but I think we should just plan on having the meeting, okay. and if there is some way that. Um, and, the, and if the chair is not going to be here and the moderator uh, is uh, not going to be Because I'm going to be in. Pittsford for two days. If if the I think um, and I can't I'm not going to speak for Steve, but um, his concern was that there will be people there that are not wearing masks, and he, you know he's 68 years old and he doesn't want to, and people will be talking, of course, um, discussing this. So, you know he doesn't want to put himself at risk, um, which is totally understandable the way things are right now. Um, so. Uh, a lot of people who would, would not come for that. And reason. a lot of people so will, will not come. Um, that's why it's key that we have some kind of remote access um, to help with that. And, and, you know, we could require that people wear a mask. We could ask our town constable to be at the top of the stairs um, and, then if, and let people know if they, if they have an issue with wearing a mask that they have the opportunity to attend the meeting remotely. Um, they have a constable? We do. Oh, we do? Yeah, we do, actually. We do. Yeah, we do. Who's that? Gary Clark. Gary Clark. Really? Yeah. No. Well, I won't have He's any part denying any. I just got to, I'm up to my eyeballs in public meeting right. issues. You, I just got a complaint filed against me by someone who claims I did a violation of one. Yeah. So I, I, I don't want to with, just for me, because I, right. not clear you could deny someone's personal access to the right, meeting. Right, I'm not clear either. Because I think no. our, our choice is hold a meeting that everyone can come to, or we go to Australian ballot. That's what the law provides for. Then we can't use the Woodbridge Inn. So you can't go to Australia. No, I got that. That's what I'm saying. You, you see my uncomfortable level? Yeah, I got you. Because I don't want to say we hold so, a meeting so, and someone then files a public meeting complaint saying I tried to get in, but they wouldn't let me in because I didn't have a mask. So we do have the op option of making this decision at, on the special town meeting day by Australian ballot if we want. We could. We could. Y yes, Michael. I guess the question I have is that's already been warned off as a regular meeting. Yeah, yeah, regular meeting. And my understanding is it doesn't say, and believe me, I'm in favor of the mask thing. Yep. But it doesn't say anything in there about masks will be required. I think no, that I would have that. to be in the warning, wouldn't it? Right. Uh, no. Well, I, I go back into the open meeting law. There's, the state's very specific on the open meeting law. That's all. And I just I don't want to be the guy standing at the door saying, you can't come in. And someone right. says, wait a minute, you're violating my rights. Right. How much does the school right school to, them, but how much is how much authority does the school have to make that? We're they're using all, school facilities. Well, they can request you. To, there's no law. I mean, there's you no can't law. arrest somebody and throw them off the property, and you can't send them to jail for not. That's my point with the whole mass thing. Right. Where, yeah. Wherever you live on the mass spectrum, that that's been my problem with it all along. It's just when someone says it's mandatory, do you have them arrested? Do you, that's what I just don't know the answer to that right. question. I mean, so I'm okay with an in-person or. Australian ballot. I'm just saying you've got to do one or the other. What I don't want to, in me, I don't want to be in a position where we're trying to count 40 votes on the screen where someone might not get counted, for example. You get another problem. If we were a state emergency, that'd be one thing. Right. 
Because what, what we do have, in my view, is we either say we go to Australian ballot based on the law that the legislature passed, or we do a meeting which you can attend and vote, and if someone moves to go to a paper ballot at that meeting, you would... But you can still get an absentee ballot. Correct? No, no, not no, in a live meeting. No, no. Not in a li you, that's what you, we got to do oh, one or the other. We can't oh, mix and mean, match. Right, well, that's what I'm saying. Australian ballot, you can do absentee ballot. Absentee ballot with Australian ballot. Right. right. Now, the other alternative is you go to uh, Australian ballot, but then you have a pre meeting, like we're going to with the town meeting. Mm -hmm. That's the other choice. You, I, just don't, I don't want to get into a muddled. Yeah, where we're trying to, because I think we'll just get ourselves in a It's going to get messy so fast. No, I understand. Right. It just gets really unwieldy. Yeah. Just so, having been to some very large meetings where people voted, it gets very difficult. Right. You have more than four or eight, ten people. And, and that might be the better way of doing yeah. it. Have a pre-special meeting meeting. Then if, if you don't need a moderator. Right. And you just, the public meeting law is met, you know, there's no, the vote isn't happening. Then you so, do a Australian ballot. I mean, that might be an option. It would just have to be done before the 12th. Right. I mean, you don't have to have a moderator at the pre well, you, you should. We usually do. Usually we do. Right. But it's it's more of an informational meeting. My recommendation would have a moderator of some kind. And if, which, if we did have remote access also, the right, moderator which, could... Um, right. That one's easy because you're not voting. Because my fear is the vote gets messed up yeah. because someone didn't get counted or we overcount. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, voting by... Um, Compute for you. Oh, it's all, I got... Uh, yeah, 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 it's my head's going to explode. I don't think that's even legal. No. I think you have to physically be in attendance to vote at the meeting. So now that we've warned the meeting on the 12th, would that be when the uh, informational meeting No, that's when we that's would when have the vote. If you, if you went to Australian ballot, we would be voting on the on the 12th of February. So, so we'd have to work really fast to get out a postcard or something to everybody right. so that they could... Right. So we should make a decision tonight. We should make we a decision, decision tonight. Decision tonight. I think we I, should make a decision on both the meetings. Okay. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I think that um, for the special town meeting, I, I think to, in order to give everyone a chance to have a say, by, I think we should do Australian ballot and have um, an informational meeting um, beforehand. Um, so I mean, that's, that's my That's take. your motion? That's not a motion. Oh. It's just, you that's, can make that's my opinion. <laughs> the chair can't make a motion. Right. <laughs> I mean, I, if, we're, I, if we're close to agreement, then, then I can I make think it we a motion. But are you good with Where that? Where would you have the meeting beforehand? <sighs> in the town hall. Probably in the town Probably hall. I have to go to the town hall. Yep. Yeah. I don't think that we could pull that off with the school beforehand. Yeah. Can no. you do that like a, the Saturday before maybe? We could. Yeah, Saturday. yeah the yeah. Saturday before would be good. I mean, we we chose the Saturday for the special to time meeting to get more people to, to come. Hoping that's the we did. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So I still have the, the voting would be... Sa Saturday the 12th. Saturday the 12th. And it would, you could start it at 10 a.m. and yeah. go to 5, whatever you normally yeah. do. Absentee yeah. ballots could be... That would could, be the next question. What would the hours be? Because normally it's... So now it's like, what's seven to seven? seven, to seven. Yeah, it's usually, well, ten to seven. That I don't if think is addressed the statute, so we just decided. federal election, we do seven to seven. Okay. So we but we, we could do ten to seven. We could do ten to and seven. And that would be on Saturday the 12th. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm just trying to avoid grenades that we're going to step on or landmines. And are, are there any restrictions on this informational meeting that wasn't on the warning originally? Is that a problem? Or will we send it be a, a postcard to everybody. We can explain that and explain that they can request a ballot. You know, explain okay. how to, it's a standard work. absentee ballot. Should we do a check in with some state authority to make sure that we haven't done something that we shouldn't have? Probably. Just in case? <laughs> well, I don't think in that order cause that we. I think that we're. Well, I, we're yeah. If we follow no. this new law, is what we're following. Yeah, but that, I was told that, that the new law really only applies to town, town meeting. meeting. It doesn't mention. And the we only... already don't have a, have Australian no. ballot authority for other issues. Right. But of course, this, this is a special town meeting, so I would think that it has authority for whatever meeting we're going to call. Yeah, we might actually. We might not have the authority to do this. Well, how and would we know? In fact, Monty's petition yeah. said to go to an Australian ballot for budgets <laughs> and for elections, but this didn't say anything about stuff. other special items. I've been dragging items. this all day because I knew this was going to be tough. Well, no, this is, I mean, this is good. Well, it's just, just tough to deal with. It's, it's this, you know, this whole confusion of... Uh, 
I guess we should check that out because maybe we can't do that. But the next problem is if the governor hasn't signed the bill yet, they're going to not comment because it's not legal well. law. <laughs> but we do have our special meeting scheduled for the 12th. Yes. Right? We right. do at this point. So, so let's find out if we can. So let's do find it by out. Let's ballot. find out about Australian ballot. Who wants find to find out? out? Well, whether you. But we should find out in the next couple of days. So yeah. No, we have to find out. Uh, all right. And the other thing you'll have to find out is if you do Australian ballot or if you do an absentee ballot, when it has to be postmarked by. Well, it has to be. A couple of days. It has, after. To be, it has to be a few days after. Yeah. It has to be yeah. in by the election day. At the end of the day, <laughs> the election day. But, I mean that. I'm staying out of that one. <laughs> mm -hmm. But soon after, I don't know what the time no, is. Yeah. I would say it has to be postmarked by the day of by the, the day voting. of is hypothetically. Right. Yeah, things changed a little day. bit last year, but you do your count that day of. You do the count the day so of. It's not in. If it's not in, receive it the day after. It's you're really not. So, you're well, really and that's not supposed I'm, to count. What I'm saying is, we need to clarify when it has to. They're still working on that. <laughs> we pull I mean. Literally. Yeah, this is not like collecting taxes. I mean, everybody should know their vote has to be in by the end of election day. <laughs> so are we saying we got to table this discussion till the next what? meeting? Well, we can put, we can we, we, we can do vote on it, and then let's find out if we can do okay, it. Okay, yeah, that's what I was saying. Let's, 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 let's vote on it, and if we find out it's illegal, we'll have a special meeting and that fix it. Does that make it? Uh, you know, well, would that sound okay with Woodbury? You know. So if, well, let's let's vote on what we want to do. Okay. And if we find that it's broken, we'll have to hold a special select board meeting to fix to it. To fix it, right? You yeah. could, that way, if we can fix it in the yeah. short term, and I have a feeling and, and that, that we can't seconds. do this, but um, I don't know for sure. Yeah. And ask about the post. Well, because my only my logic behind it, if we we're, it's not safe to go to the regular town meeting, why would it be safe to go? Right, exactly. Right. Well, so that's, why would they contemplate if there was another meeting, it's safe to go to that one? Doesn't make any sense. That's, that's we've lost our minds. You know? <laughs> Which happens. <laughs> if we could have town meeting and not lose our moderator until after town meeting. <laughs> Then that would be good too. No, I lost my mind a while ago. I like that. I like that. <laughs> All right, so let's have the motion. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, sorry, sorry. There's some comments or questions. So, being a Zoom user <sighs> frequently, there's an option in Zoom called Zoom polling, mm -hmm. where, as the administrator, if you're like the, the town has an account for Zoom, which you pay for, it's called Zoom Pro, mm -hmm. and there's a function there called polling. So, the administrator has the option. For those who choose to participate uh, via Zoom, to poll those folks mm -hmm. and vote. So that's just another way. You but he, but here's here's the here's the problem. The legislature didn't provide us to do that. Well, well such thing as a hybrid meeting, right? Right. Because what I'm, my concern is, we can't guarantee who's actually voting. Right. Or who's on the checklist or who can't. Yeah, right. Because is, is my dog voting? I mean, I'm not trying to. I'm just saying. You, they didn't give us that option in this law. Well, you would see a dog's face. No, no, I got you. Raising his paw. But you can, paw. can you see what I've just, I've raised it up, the obvious issue is you either vote in person or you vote via Australian ballot where you've been checked off on the voter list. But you would penalize people who don't feel comfortable going into a meeting. And we've already talked about how we cannot penalize anyone. But we're not, they are, the legislature's doing that because they didn't offer that as an option. They, they might change it. option. Yep. Yeah, good okay. point. Good but point. The option has been discussed, and yeah, never the legislature went, didn't do it. Went anywhere. Okay. Well, I guess it all depends on whether or not we can actually um, have the voting for the special town meeting by Australian ballot. That's that's. But we can. Or postpone. You can't postpone. Can't postpone. You can't postpone. Can't postpone. Can't postpone. Can't postpone. Well, we can. We could. We should check oh, into that, that if that's a question. Um, it can't hurt just to find out for sure. <laughs> Um, my head's gonna explode. I know there is that one, but you know, but I talked to that attorney today, and he said. Because I just read out of the statute. Right. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. Realize that. If it hasn't well, been warned, maybe. Yeah, if it hasn't warned, warned it yet. Yeah. That's the key issue. It's been within, warned. But he, JP said something today about you're still within six. We'd have to hold it a week after the days. other meeting, but. Yeah, holding it towards the end of March. It's still winter around here. It's not going to be any different, and no. the pandemic will not be will not be any different, or could be worse. Okay. So are we going to have a motion? Or are we going to move on? Uh, no, we we have to make a motion about the date for the before my head explodes. Pre 
Mm -hmm. The pre-special meeting, yeah. which is a Saturday before Saturday so before fifth, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give you a date here. I think it's the fifth of February. Uh, no, no, fifth. no, it's, it's the it should be the fifth, right? Saturday, fifth. the twelfth. It will be Saturday be the fifth. Fifth. Yep. Same time. Uh, six p.m. Well, Saturday at six p.m. I would say daytime. Yeah. Uh, right. Okay. Yeah. Location, you have to have an option. Town hall. Yeah. Town, town hall, yep. That's if you're approved to do the Australian ballot. Right. Yes. Which you won't. Yeah. Let's just get our, <laughs> our different ducks lined up here and then we can see which one gets shot down. Uh, fastest. Okay. Uh, so we'll need a motion. I make a motion to pursue a special town caucus on Saturday the fifth at ten a.m. to review the possibility of Australian ballot for our special town meeting at ten a.m. on February the twelfth. We would have to be voting today to be changing the one on the twelfth. Yeah, that, that's what we to Australian Bell. That's why we're having the caucus. Yeah, right. But we have to. But the caucus isn't the about. Caucus isn't about. It's, really it's not about. Uh, no, no, but we would if we're if we're going to hold a regular meeting is what I'm saying. Right. We don't need to caucus. No, we don't. So I'm saying we would if, if we're going to have a caucus, we we're voting today to change the twelfth to Australian ballot. Right. Yeah. Okay. We don't know whether you can. Which we can't. We don't know if we can no or can't do. That's correct. Right. No right. voting. So we don't, we're not going to worry about that. All right. So I make a motion to approve Australian ballot for our February the twelfth special meeting. Special mm -hmm. meeting. Special okay. meeting. Very good. I'll, I'll second. Don't know. I know. We're we're going to we'll, do it anyway. We'll find out we'll find if it's out. illegal. Oh. We'll <laughs> we'll change. Do we need to have just with an absentee yeah. ballot in there as well. No, because no. that's what, what no, the, law because that's what the law provides for. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll second that motion. Okay. Is there more discussion? We beat the hell out of it. <laughs> I think that's good. Motion to approve. Okay. I'll, uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. So, um, and then we should have set the date for the caucus for the 5th at 10 o'clock. a.m. In the town hall. In the town hall. And if we find out it's illegal, we'll fix it. Right. And hopefully okay. we'll know that. In the do next we want to deal days. with town meeting today, or do we want to wait till the next meeting? We need to have the uh, we need to have the notice of voters approved tonight because that goes in the. Um, in the okay. in. Can I just ask one question? Go for it. If we find out in the next couple of days whether or not that is going to be a strain ballot, can you throw something up on your website or something? Sure. Yep. Yep. Yeah, but down. you'll be sending cards out once we realize it's right. legal. Yes. Yeah. We're gonna do this as fast as we yes. can. Yes. Skip, no, skip it. Skip it. You're gonna you're gonna check on that. I'm gonna check okay. on that. <laughs> I'm gonna need some help, but I'm gonna check on it. Gotcha. So Skip had a question too. Yeah. Skip. Hold on. The same line as Monty. Once it's decided what you're gonna do, excuse me, on the fifth, let me know and I can post it on the. Yeah, because the okay. fifth will just be a caucus. There's no right. voting. There's no right. voting. So. And so let's have let's kind of clarify our plan B. If we can't do Australian ballot, then it will, will be a have regular town meeting. Town meeting, and you have to be there in, to vote. Yep, and yep. it'll be in the school gym as it's been yep. warned. Yep, um, and people have to be there to vote. And you're going to have to do something about a moderator. Potentially. Potentially. Yeah, unless our moderator can be there uh, remotely. Which would be kind of weird, weird but, but, okay. but these are weird times. I would do it, except I'm not going to be there that day. Right. Well, I can tell you right now that I do not want to be the moderator, so... <laughs> I got pretty thick skin, but I just won't be there. I, I, I could try, if, if necessary. It's, they today. shouldn't be mad at the moderator. No, it's, it's pretty, it should be it's just a pretty some, straightforward thing. To just uh, just got to be familiar with Robert's rules. Yes, I know Robert's rules right. of order, which I said I'd gladly do it, but I'm not going to be here. Um, yeah. I don't know Robert's rules. Okay, we'll, we'll, fi we'll figure that part out. Um, <laughs> we can give you a Robert's rules course. Okay. Let's see if Steve's going to be there first. Yeah. We'll give Steve an N95. He'll be fine. <laughs> I've been in plenty of COVID environments with my N95 and goggles. I'm still here. I've been in COVID up to my eyeballs. We're good. Okay. Um, all right. Do we want to deal with town meeting today? Yeah. We have to. So I'll entertain a motion for town meeting, and we'll set a caucus. Well, the, the motion is to set a caucus date, but we'll. Mm -hmm. And whether or not 
the pre-town meeting is going to be open or uh, Zoom like we did last year. We can do so. We're fine with that. Mm -hmm. We could do either. I think we should do. We could do both. We'll do both. Yeah, if you can have it live meeting and Zoom, that's fine with that. But yep. as long yep. as you're not voting. Yep. Who sets oh. all that up? Uh, not me. I, that's part of the agenda tonight for us to discuss. So, um, I, ha me. I have been talking to some people about that. In I fact, said it, but it won't work. It's too bad. I meant to ask David how um, Hardwick is doing it because I know they're doing oh. kind of a mix of. Um, Maybe it's simpler than we're making. Actually, it, I, I know how Hardwick, that I know is. how Hardwick's doing it, and um, they yeah. already have Australian balance. Yeah, right. But and they also their select board meetings are there's uh, some select board members are there remotely and others are there in person. Um, and uh, HCTV basically has set them up to do that. Um, so this is I think I sent you my email, but so we get to send it all out. Thank you. This is the the notice that will go in the town report by Thursday this week. Either um, this is what I had drafted based on what you talked about last week about having an open meeting for the pre-town meeting or that other stuff that's in gray that right. the Zoom information that was last year. Okay. Now, this one says we're mailing out ballots. We aren't doing that, are we? Mm -hmm. At the top. Ballots will be mailed to all registered voters. By oh, yeah, okay. No, we got to take all that out. No mail in ballot. No. Ballot. Oh, okay. All right. You're right. Yep. Got to request a, a absentee yeah. ballot. All right. I'm speaking for me. I don't want to speak for you guys. Well, we, well, we, we already agreed that we can't yeah. do that. Oh. Right. And they didn't actually offer that in the Plus law, the so. state's not reimbursing us this They're year. Not, which yeah. we can't, yeah, we, so we can't afford it in the first place. Yeah, darn. So I will entertain a motion. And then, so, yeah, so, so I'm not. My question here is to whether or not it's going to be set, uh, 10 a.m. on Saturday for people who wish to discuss items. You, that's what we had t mentioned. That's what we yeah. had talked about. I didn't yeah. put in the but why don't Why don't you let us make our decisions on all that, Diana, and then we'll and then we'll then we'll write this. We haven't quite done that yet. <clears throat> um, so my understanding is is that um, the pre town meeting will be on the Saturday before town meeting day. That's what's proposed here. Mm -hmm. yeah. The fifth, right? Well, no, this is for no. the town meeting. So it'll be the twenty sixth. So we'll right. be there the fifth. We'll be voting the second. We'll be there every weekend in February. Basically, we'll be into our voting. <laughs> yeah. So that would be the Saturday before town meeting day, which is March something or March twenty or February twenty sixth. February twenty sixth. Because the first is the town meeting vote. Okay. All right. So it would be the pre-town meeting, and then town meeting will basically be going and voting or bringing in your right. ballot. Right. Essentially, yeah. well, you won't be bringing one in because you'll have to get one at the meeting or mm -hmm. mail it in right. from right. your absentee ballot. Have you made the decision on what that mail in ballot has to be? Well, well, I would say it has to be in hand the day of the voting. Of course. Yeah. It has to, you have to have it available for the vote. Because the votes are going to be counted that night, so if it's not there when they count, it doesn't count. I guess. You know, it would be whatever state law is if it was postmarked on the day. I think that's what you're going to find. It has no, to be. I don't know what the. No. Law. I don't think that's the right. Counties are due at the end of. Right. Every other absentee town or, or uh, Australian ballot town that I know of, the, the count is that night at seven or whenever okay. the poll closes. Okay. I've the never only seen one. Possible question is if some like last year we had a problem. Somebody tried to put a ballot in the drop box at the town office, and everybody was up here, and they were mad because the drop box was closed. Right. Well, this is the reason we got away from the mail-in ballots because it's yeah. so complicated. So, so right. what about somebody who's it's really uh, easy with absentee ballots? You 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 send the, it in and you in get the it back. army or in the services somewhere overseas. Yeah, get a copy. They can get, get an absentee ballot. They can request Okay. They just have to make sure it gets mailed in to be here by the first. Okay, so we need to make sure the postcard goes out plenty early so that yeah, anybody in that situation. Because I know this date's being dealt with all over the country is because of the fiasco last year. Yeah. 
and just hopefully the U.S. Postal Service moves the mail. Around. They don't. You, there's a likelihood if you wait to the last minute, your vote won't get counted. Okay. All right. <laughs> Because this very issue is the whole crux of last year's right. Fandango. Yeah. So they're solving that, but I think the easiest is if it's not in hand when they're counting. Okay. So we've agreed that there'll be a, a pre-town meeting on Saturday, whatever the date 26. is. 26. February 26th. Okay, at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. All right. And there'll be, there will be a remote access available for people that don't want to come in person. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the town meeting day, the decisions will be made by Australian ballot. We got to vote on that. Yep. I think, wow, well, okay. No, we hadn't yet. So, um, we don't really make, need to vote on the pre town meeting day, nope. I don't think. Nope. But, We're just so, I'll, the make day. A, I'll make a motion that uh, for this years 2022 uh, town meeting day that um, all um, decisions that are on the town warning um, will be voted um, by Australian ballot. Second the motion. We have a second. Any more discussion? So it's not just budgetary, it's all the everything. Articles. All the articles. Articles. Okay, okay. Could you, change your, could you change your motion to articles, Michael? Okay, sure. Articles, yeah. Yeah, I don't even know what I said. Yeah. Next one. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, okay. okay. Then, uh, Do you want me to restate it, that motion, or no. is that just something? You put articles in there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, thank you. It's going to be a separate motion, but whether or not to mail ballots or mail postcards. We're yeah, add it to your motion that we will not. Okay, we'll, we'll mail postcards. We're just mailing postcards. Let's, let's do a separate. Okay, motion. just do a separate. Okay. okay. Any more discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. okay, so um, I'll make a motion that we not mail ballots to every registered voter in town. Rather, we mail postcards, um, letting them know um, um, to pick up a bit. To pick up a ballot. Well, they can request an uh, absentee ballot through the pull process. Okay. Through the mail, or they can pick one up, or they can come on town meeting day and vote in the building mm -hmm. if they want. Right. Okay. Which last year about half people did, even though all the money was spent to keep people. We live dangerous. Each other, but half we live dangerously. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. Any discussion on that motion? All those in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed. Okay. All right. And we'll find out as you leave. Then we're going to find out where it's done. Everything wrong. I think it's okay. Remember, move forward in ignorant bliss. So, Diana, are you are you willing to explore whether or not the special town meeting can be? Well, I think uh, Chris was going to do Chris that. Chris going to do that. Oh, okay. uh, thank you, Chris. I might need, some, I might need, I might need a, a little bit of help, but... What? I might need a little bit of help. With what? Just pursuing whether or not we can actually do this oh, okay. with the special I'll, town I'll meeting. With the, the special town I'll meeting. Send you the email that I got from Jake Isabel at the Secretary of State's office. Because I would like them that. just to quote the statute. Because I've gotten I, bad information before. I'll just I'll, I'll start out, but I'd like some clarity. Mm -hmm. okay. So just if they're going to make a comment when you get it, ask them to to give us the statute where they get this from. I'll be in the office tomorrow. Just not opinion. Correct. I want to see the statute because I don't care about their opinion. If because what I read out of the statute, it says you can't do it. Thanks, Miss Diana. I just don't want to run amok. That's all. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. I think we've done logistics and we've done voting. We did all that. So I think, I think we've I think <sighs> covered select it. board meetings, remote access. Okay. So um. I um, actually attended a meeting last week. Um, um, the HC, I'm on the HCTV board, and we had a meeting where there were people in person, and there were also people there by Zoom, um, which is what Hardwick Select Board is doing now. Um, and Leif uh, Goldberg showed me the setup, um, and it does appear to be working for Hardwick. It worked fine for. Um, for uh, the meeting that I was at. And it's basically, um, the setup is, uh, and Jim, who is also on the board at HCTV and, and has been doing the filming for us, is much familiar with it too. Um, 
is that there's a camera, uh, a web camera, uh, but, but basically a camera that's plugged into a laptop. And there is there are mics like we see here that are plugged into, uh, um, what do you call that when you can um, put a bunch of mics in, you can control the volumes. Uh, Mixing board or something? Mixing board, Twitter. thank you. That's the word I was looking for. I'm pretty impressive. Yeah, yeah. You, you do must it? have been in a rock and roll band. <laughs> Open your um, mouth again. <laughs> that's what the mask was to me. <laughs> so it's all, it's, of course, the, it gets somewhat unwieldy when there are a lot of people. Um, but for, like, for the number of people that are here tonight or the number of people that were, have been here the last few meetings, it would work. And it, it would require um, buying a camera, buying some mics, um, the mixing board may not be necessary or... Um, and that's pretty much it. And, and Leif Goldberg is willing to... Um, Do we still have to have a physical location? Yes. Because we... Okay. Yes. We... The, the reason... And until there's an emergency... Right. Okay. Um, we have to provide a physical location. Yeah. But it sounded to me like, according to open meeting law, only one person Correct, from the right. committee or board has to be there. Right. right. The rest, you right. still need that a was, quorum. I just wanted to make sure they thought yeah. that was the you case. You still need a quorum, though, but some yeah. of them can be removed. Right. right. But, yeah. the, but the public would still be allowed to attend in person. Yeah, that's, that's, that's why you got to, again, you're back to that. You have to have physical, physical space. Location. stuff. Yeah. Right. You have to have physical There's space. A, the, uh, the regional planning commission, their meetings, um, they have one of these owls and uh, you know, so they, they have to have an in-person person there. Um, usually it's the receptionist and there's, for all the meetings that I've attended, no one else is there except her, but there is the option for somebody to come in and be there in person if they wanted them. And, and then everybody else is on, on Zoom. Um, so, so no this, actual committee member or board member needs to be there, just somebody needs to be there. Somebody needs to be there, okay. yeah. Yeah. Um, so, you know, so I talked to Leif about this and I asked him if he would be willing to provide us with what the town would need for camera, microphones, etc. And if he would kind of, basically, um, I offered to hire him or I told him that I would talk to the select board about this, that we hire him as a consultant to set us up so that we're able to provide remote access um, to the meetings. For meetings. Any meeting. And this would be select board, it could be planning right, commission, yes. um, could be the ARPA committee, um, you know, anybody um, who, um, you know, so that people would have um, both the remote option and the in-person option. Um, so how quickly could you get that put together, though? Uh, it would be um, as soon as we had the equipment that we needed. Well, we got to um, get the cost so we could approve buying it, right? Uh, the cost would be pretty minimal. It would be probably less than the $600 that we spent on the um, digital projector. I could I could get some costs from him. Yeah, you're gonna just say we gotta just approve buying it. That's yeah. Just, I don't have a yeah. problem with could it. You, yeah. Could you be reimbursed retroactively from the ARPA funds for this? Because it sounds I'm very, hoping that that very ARPA. Uh, it, it is ARPA. Very yeah. ARPA. It is ARPA. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's one thing. It's really ARPA. Yeah. yeah. That's my assumption that whatever we spend, um, right, can be used, the ARPA funds could be used for it. Makes it seems sense. like the wave of the future, so it seems like we got to do it. Yeah. When COVID goes away someday, whatever yeah. it turns into, I think it's a good idea. Yeah. And, and like, would people access the meeting through Zoom? Zoom. Through Zoom. Zoom. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Just so. using our town account. Yeah. Using that, that town would be account. the goal. Yeah. And that one camera would essentially serve to kind of broadcast. We're just kind of from from the people from in the room. room. Mm -hmm. The yeah. idea is that it sort of tunes to. Oh. Yeah, it kind of looks at whoever's looks talking. At whoever's well, that's, talking. that's what the owl camera does. The owl yeah. looks at um, you. And we could purchase one of those. Um, that's a little. Those are around a thousand dollars. So what Leaf was mentioning was just a, a simple uh, web camera that would have. You know, you could. I know um, my wife Ellie has one for um, some of the remote teaching that she does. It can be wide angle, it can narrow, you know, you can kind of like a, a camera where you, that has a zoom lens or something. Um, that might work. I mean, the owl thing is, is interesting. Um, there are towns that are using it. Um, 
and it does, it, it's kind of there, and if, like Stephen, if you started talking and it was over, Monty had just finished, as soon as you start talking, it's going to move over to you. So somehow it senses mm -hmm. who's Better talking. saying the right thing at that right. point. Yeah. And I guess it sort, of, it sort of looks like an owl. That's why they call it an owl. But I mean, we could go that route. Um, What's the difference in price with that, just the static camera? Because They're like 300 something bucks. A static it's, camera is yeah. actually le probably less than less that, but yeah. yeah. We're it's talking, we're talking about dollars. Depends yeah. on the quality. Yeah. 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 Seven, or, seven just, or $800 worth of difference. Yeah. And you could, it seems to me you could just easily stage a room, any any room that's you regularly used. You have the camera sitting right yeah. up there. And then and all boards and the public would know that this is how we form a meeting. It's, Personally, I'm opposed to gadgets with moving parts and with that fixed camera. No, he sees it as something that's going to break. Oh, yeah, I mean, you're true, that, yeah, right? Uh, like, we're, yeah, we're we're out yeah. You should see my collection of hand tools at home. No, hand tools are <laughs> no great. motors. <laughs> Don't get them started. Yeah. The owl records as well as. Obviously, it's recording yeah. what the people are and saying. And the Zoom, so Zoom would all, all it's it's also, also have a record of that uh, digitally. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, um, if, it's an, if it's a public meeting, we have we're to using it. both options, we have to um, record it. So for me, I'm good at it. We just need a price so we can approve the okay. expenditure. All right. Um, so I, I mean, I'm trying to think of how we can move quickly on this so that we could actually have the equipment. Um, we. Uh, I will check with Leaf. We might be able to borrow the equipment for one night. Um, and then we could get the quote by the next and, meeting. Yeah, and approve. Leaf could get us the quote really quickly. I could have that um, in a couple of days, but um, obviously we would have to make the approval for the expenditure at our next select board meeting. Right, or a Warren special or a Warren meeting. Special or a Warren special meeting, right? Yeah. Which, <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm good with either. Okay. All right. So I'll I'll get back in touch with Leaf. I'll come up with some, a money amount. Um, and uh, where does and unbudgeted stuff like that come out? Is well, we'll find we'll a place. We'll have to steal it from somewhere. <laughs> we're not stealing. We're borrowing. It'll it'll come from the general fund. Yeah, Whether we put it, fund. we'll find. I mean, any ideas of where we could put this? Where did we put the digital projector under? It's, it's the equipment. The equipment. equipment. It's a reallocation yeah. of yeah. an existing resource. Bicycle so. signs. <clears throat> right. <laughs> it's like any budget to okay. a spending right. plan, you don't always follow it to the T. You might save a few bucks on something, you can spend it on something. But the select board can approve expenditure of the ARPA money on the animal. Right, right. but we need a right. number. It's $1,000 yeah. off Amazon. Yeah. I've already, yeah, I have the backup to it. Mm -hmm. It could be here within 10 days. Yeah, yeah I think that's a good point because we don't, it doesn't need to come through the ARPA committee. No, we can approve it. Do I just don't it. know yeah. what the budget is. I don't yeah. want to give them a thousand bucks. I need 1500. Yeah. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, let's see what Leaf can come up with. Um, um, because we would still, we would still, still have to direct it. I mean, it, it less correct. Well, well you're going to need a camera. You're going to need a microphone. You're going to need speakers. Yeah, you need all that stuff. Right. Or yeah. And a computer. Yeah. And yeah, that's the other thing I did. And ideally, if we ever got the town hall renovated and warmed up, you'd want this equipment to be able to be moved. Mm -hmm. Right. And installed in there permanently, so you could use it easily. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With yeah. the owl, this is a really silly question, but do you need to be in a circle? Like, does it have to be in the middle and it's oh, howling no. around? No, it's, it's it like does a, a 360 a degree yeah, thing. Yeah, so you could so just set it and it would kind of... So it could just sweep <coughs> this way. Yeah. 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 It does have speakers. Yep. It does. Yeah, I don't know anything yeah, about this stuff, so I'm, I'm not a good person to decide. You could have one here by the 17th. Yeah. And, but then we'd have and I'm okay if you want to throw a number out there and stay yeah. under it. $974. We'd have to figure out how to it make the true. thing work, It'd too. Have to be warned to, to go wrong. Yeah, it's true. We can't, it's, we can't do a money thing because we didn't right. put it on the okay. Yeah. Well, we, we were in danger of one more meeting. It's all we're really, it's not that big a deal. Right. I think just get a budget and, and uh, have it 
for the yeah. next meeting. All right. I think, like you said, LEAF would lend you the equipment if you need it. I think, yeah, if, if they weren't using it elsewhere yes. on the particular night that we meet. Yeah. And, and I it, can, it sounds like from what I'm hearing you guys say, there's a lot of meetings coming up that could be used. Yeah, e yeah could every, be every so meeting. Because what, yeah, what's important to me is equipment is, is, is where forward. something we, if we install it here temporarily, we can be moved. Because right. I'd like to see us get a camera as part of this deal to play. When we're having meetings, you could put stuff on the wall. I'd like to see right. a whole. Like well, if we're going to spend ARPA money, which is a great idea, we set the building up with speakers and yeah. and a camera yeah. and microphone and a you know. Yeah, my thought these. with a with a lighting in this room is to get an electrician to come in and fix it so that maybe each of these rows was um, on a switch, so that the thing now is that you know the projector projects over to there or anywhere in this room that it projects. <coughs> There's so much glossy, light yeah. that you can't see it. So if 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 we were to use a projector, let's say because the screen's there, um, it was projecting there, and we could shut off these two rows of lights and just have that back one on, it probably would be a lot easier to see uh, what's up there. That's why, you know, we haven't really, you know, we got the digital projector so that these different things on paper that we're looking at, everybody could see what we were talking about. But with the lights on, this time of year, of course, um, we don't have a choice, could either turn them all off and just see the screen and not really be able to see each other or you have um, to listen to the snoring so that's another and i we could probably use the arpa money for that too i don't know right so that's what i'm saying if we do so, like i'd hate to rush it and kind of get it half halfway just right. if it takes a couple weeks let's get it right and, mm -hmm. yeah. but i'd like anyway, it to be relocatable so if we do end up yeah, the town hall is a better location because we own it right it's easy for us to use i'd like to see it end up there eventually yeah as part of our sprucing up. Well, I'll, I'll check in with Leaf, and he can give us a, an amount for just a simple camera, and and, um, and then we can go, you know, I'm fine with going with the owl camera. I, I think it might be good to check in with some towns that are using it, because I did hear that there were some complications with it when it first started being used, but I'm sure they've figured all that out now. We would have to have somebody who could figure out how to get it all set up, but um, um, anyway. I'll put it down for next meeting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. ARPA. Okay. So, yeah. uh, good. Hello. Um, so, um, well, here I trust really everybody stuff. got the email I sent. Yes. Did yes. you all get the email I sent? Mm -hmm. Am I on the right path? That was great. Okay. Was great. I just didn't want to speak with these guys. I heard from them, so. No, I, I. Do you think I'm on the right path with that? The biggest thing I took away from that email was take your time. Take your time, but get your stuff together. Yeah. It, it, it's like we have to hurry up and wait. But here it says review select board's intentions. So what are your intentions for so, us? But I, I put that on the agenda. Um, basically, it was to address. Um, the email that Paul sent out, um, for one. Because um, I've laid mine out. Which yeah. was what, for the rest of us? Okay, um, I can read that if you'd like. Um, so here are the here are the board's priorities. Um, and this is Paul's email. Um, and it says on the end, if you guys disagree, please weigh in. I wasn't right, trying to yeah. set everybody's opinion. Right, yeah. <laughs> uh, fund items that are clear and will not be rejected during an audit, and we have to pay it back. That's the issue of you know, the um, FEMA not really approving these things before the expenditure, but approving them afterwards. And if they don't approve of something, then you, the town basically has to pay for it out of their own funds. Um, so, and the second uh, item that Paul put on is pretty similar. Um, find items that are very clear in the guidance and will have a positive impact on Woodbury residents. Uh, three, Support local organizations that have lost funding or have been and continue to be impacted by the ongoing pandemic, mm -hmm. particularly organizations that are not being funded by other portions of the national funding bills. And for getting the town set up to do remote meetings moving forward. Um, Good one. So, and Paul mentions that he believes that the first year funds will be exhausted fulfilling the above needs. Um, and then if any other board members disagree, please weigh in. Um, so I didn't disagree with any of these. Um, and, you know, I think our intention in, in having the committee was to have someone other than the select board to 
um, you know, receive the different um, submissions um, and kind of organize them and then bring them to us for a discussion um, and, and, then, uh, and then our final approval. Um, I, some of the things that I would like to see um, with the ARPA committee is um, just a, a better uh, warning of the meetings that you have. Yes. Um, and I'm glad to help with that. Um, you yes. know, I have, you know, we all have experience, and I think Robin or Brandy could help too, and just uh, the different places that people look for um, notices from the town. Um, you know, the website, uh, front porch forum, the postings, physical postings in, in town. There is this other, the Woodbury Connections that uh, a lot of people use. Um, that's an okay place too. Any, any place where, um, you know, and as many places as, you know, we can do, um, it's still not perfect, but um, that's, that's what we've been doing um, for all. Um, and then, you know, like the, the event um, when we were trying to, and I would encourage you to um, use the two people from VLCT and the Central Vermont Regional Planning Commission. They, you know, they, they are up to their eyeballs in this and they've been designated by the state to advise to help um, out. different towns. Um, I've been trying to get some answers about the March 1st um, deadline. Um, and I was, you know, contacting uh, Katie Buckley at VLCT, and she just mentioned, um, and I think I sent this out to everybody, uh, and you probably got it also, is that apparently the final FEMA, or not FEMA, but the final rule, the final word on this whole thing has finally been uh, formalized. Got, yeah. Yes. Um, yeah, and so Katie mentioned that she stuff. was spending the whole day on Friday um, which is when I first tried to get a hold of her, just doing nothing but meetings about this final rule. And, you know, and then uh, she did respond to me um, briefly in an email, and I had a couple other questions about that March 1st date, uh, and I didn't hear anything back from her today, so I, I assume that she's still kind of up to her eyeballs and, and trying to figure that thing out. Um, so that they, you know, have that knowledge. Um, is that the one you printed out today, Randy? It is. It's oh, around was that? 440 yeah. pages. Uh -huh. so there is a hard copy if you guys want. Read oh. that tonight. Yeah, just it's like a slight federal reading. It's no problem. There's probably a form you have to fill out before you can read it. So, you know, I would definitely encourage you guys to, to use them anytime you have a, a question. Um, and then, you know, for this big, t uh, like, Another, you know, we've just been babbling on about in-person town meetings and all, you know, to try to have an informational meeting where people can come. Um, you know, we don't have to do that right off. Maybe it would be better to wait. Um, you know, it would be nice to have it when we can, but I'm just wondering how many people would feel safe coming. Um, so, and again, in posting that, it's, you know, again, use, use the town office, uh, use the select board to help you with, um, you know, just getting the word out to people, um, you know, making the arrangements with the school or um, it, when it's at the town hall, it's, it's easy because it's just the town. Um, um, and you could just set a, set a date. Um, well, we so, had a trial run at that because you might have seen that we posted the, our initial January 4th date right. in all the places that you recommended. Mm -hmm. um, but we decided to postpone it because we got such a response from the community saying, mm -hmm. we, you know, I'd like to go, including the speakers, wanted to go but didn't, wanted mm -hmm. to attend but didn't want to go uh, because yeah. of COVID. Yeah. So, um, so then we postponed it in all those locations. <laughs> so yeah. But we're, uh, yeah, what were we going to say then? Is that kind of meeting with those, cause with the people from VLCT and yeah, both, both. going to happen again? Yeah. By Zoom or what? We would like it to, yes, for sure. Yeah, yes. so we'll have to get our Zoomers going. Yeah. Is that March 1 deadline that you mentioned? Well, the March, I think it, it, it is a, it's a reporting thing, and I didn't get all of my uh, questions answered, but um, where was the answer here that I got? Yeah, um, NEU, which is which Woodbury is, I forget what NEU stands for, um, but it's basically mus municipalities. Um, mm -hmm. The reporting remains the same that on uh, due by April 30th, 2022, there's a project and expenditure reporting that's due. 
So we haven't done anything. We haven't done anything. anything. And I Be careful with federal stuff. You may still have to file a report oh, no. saying you didn't do I anything. Did. Oh, yeah. yeah you, There's that, a login. I had to set up okay. a credential. So. I, I ran afoul of that at the fire department once. I found out for three years I had to file sub-recipient reports that said I didn't do anything. Yeah. So it, it isn't like we have to have everything decided by March right. 1st. We can no. just report that I you didn't do anything. Whatever, okay. you know, yeah. I was going to warn you about that one. Oh, no. So our committee kind of jumped on a moving train. Mm -hmm. um, and things from if I look back it at the email, we it all started it. to move yeah. like late summer, and we mm -hmm. didn't really get on the right. train until November, December, mm -hmm. right at the holidays. Right, so so we're super with us? excited, and and with with Heather at the yeah. at the chair to start to dig into this. Mm -hmm. But now that the holidays are over, it's nice to know that that March first date was right. not a real date that we needed to attend to because we mm -hmm. were handed a bunch of very important dates. Mm -hmm. That we didn't know what the significance of that the, the so That sad, was one of my questions for you. The tonight. sad part with all of us is the train was moving and we like we got the check right. and we didn't even have the guidance yet. Right. For right. us. I mean so we're this thing right. was like Brandon's like, Oh, we have a check and I was like, Well here's the incomplete guidance and Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, good. So we're we're glad to hear that there's time. Yeah, we're, there's all, we're, all we've kinds got a of good time. group of people and I feel like we're ready to our next meeting yeah. is tomorrow night. Is is yeah. tomorrow night in mm -hmm. this space at six o'clock. Okay. Um, I've mm -hmm. already got it set up with John to get a key Great, yeah. and to get in and yeah. access and all that stuff. Because um, if you've got stuff you can fund that's really clear, you don't necessarily have to wait and wait and wait on is what I'm getting that with what it because there so are but we need to wait for the application. Correct. You don't have an application. You so can't fund it. So that's going to be finalized. Correct. Tomorrow. That's going to be our first yep. thing to do tomorrow is to mm -hmm. get that finalized and make as many people as possible. What's that? The application form? Yes. Yeah. Yes, that's better. Because they were going to make one. And I think we're going to talk a little bit about sort of how to word the deadline. Because if there's things that want to, we want to be able to approve or you guys want to be able to approve that are low-hanging fruit right away, how do you give people a deadline and also indicate to them that there's no rush? You know what I mean? Well, it's yeah. a deadline, but you have two years. Because so. my fear is there are things like PPE for, we're in, we're still going to COVID houses at the fire department treating and we're run, burning through PPE. Right. So you right. hate to like, oh, we got the check in August, but you were out of money and you know what I'm saying? That's, I just don't want to, something yeah. end up like that. Yeah. So again, we only have the first installment of right. 131,000. You get another installment yeah. next September, I think. Yeah, it's, it's July. Next, it'll be July. Next. Okay. It's yeah. one thousand, one hundred and thirty-one thousand nine hundred seventy-five dollars and eighty-four cents. You're getting two installments of that, so you don't even. You only have half. Right. One hundred thirty-one nine nine seven. Two sixty something. The second half is for the fiscal year that. Next. The next fiscal next. year. year. FY twenty-three. Yep. Yeah. Or twenty. Yeah. Yes. Three hundred ninety-one. Did you say? One thirty-one. One thirty-one. Nine seventy-five. Because ultimately, we're looking for your recommendations, then we would have to approve them. Yeah. So, yeah. And, yeah. I, and I know there are different groups, town committees, or whatever that um, are have been talking about um, things that might be eligible. So, when that application is form is ready, I'm, I'm sure you'll be getting some submissions. Yeah. Will so, there be a, an opportunity to find out whether a project might be eligible before going to the work of figuring out the, the planning of the project and how much it might cost? <laughs> uh, well, yeah, that could. Yeah, no, I'm not really sure. What, uh, okay, we'll just what we're trying. To, what we, I think what our goals as a group have been to one, you know, connect the townspeople with the information about ARPA so that mm -hmm. people feel informed. Mm -hmm. uh, connect them with the experts and have a meeting with them. Um, and then also think about ways that people can reach us that that can't make it to a meeting. Mm -hmm. um, you know, could you, do we have a running email answer, question answer thing, or do we send out a survey, or how we're, this is something the group needs to figure out. I love throwing ideas out there. Well, one, um, one thing that I think could be an issue for you and, and us too is that you're probably going to get more requests than funds that you have. And that's yeah. where that priority list yep. becomes important. You're going to fully fund maybe a high yeah. priority one, but not a priority five. Yeah, yeah and, and knowing that ARPA really doesn't want this table. of services. You don't want someone coming to us and saying, we want to start a library. You know, I mean, the obvious mm -hmm. thing is that you're not, you don't want to, you want groups to Because some things are just so far down the list, we're just going to run out of money before you get there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then right. we want to know what the priorities of our people in town. You know, mm -hmm. we want them to understand ARPA, and then we want to hear a little bit about what do people want, what are people looking for. But it's also the priorities of the grant 
right. body. Right. Theirs is what's uh, important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 They, they, those two things. Need That's the ugly one. Too. Every, every time I get to a grant, it's like, I want this. And they go, well, we only pay for that. Oh, yeah. That's all you get to yeah. apply for. So that, that comes in the first educating people. Yeah. You know, don't don't try not to put in an application, well, and also having on the application where do you think your bit falls under? Yeah, our that would be important because when I'm reviewing, I'd like to see well where do they think it? Where do they think? Right. It's where you under think? Under. Or you going to do that? I don't care. It's just I want the, I want people to think about it before. Yeah, because I don't want to get it and go. I, I don't even see it on the guidance here. Right. So then, is there going to be another line where, let's say, I think it should be under section C, but when the committee looks at it, they said no, that should be section F. Could be if they if they so and then we might get it and call it section D. Yeah, that's why this is hard. Yeah. Well, the, the the high priority items aren't that difficult. It's some of the other some of the items are going to be some difficult. things will be totally clear. Yeah. Some things are like buying PPE. That's like a simple replacing funds that were lost because you couldn't fundraise, for example, for an organization. It's really clear, yeah. easy, do it. Yeah. So, right, so the PPE, the library has Because the library lost money, the yeah. PTO or whatever they call the organization. Yeah. There's a whole bunch of organizations that I know the, I know the list that Chance um, sent us, um, being those were, those all seem very valid. Yeah. Those yeah. are good points. Yeah. Again, you may run out of money before you right. get to so the end of the... As soon as we tomorrow get that application yeah. finalized, I think the first step is to send it to Skip and get it up on the website, okay. get yeah. it out and about, and then immediately call back Katie and, well, once we figure out... Zoom connection and how to get people remotely yeah, get that involved meeting set up. is to call yeah. Katie and the yeah. VLTC, VLCT people back yeah. and have a town wide meeting. Preferably, I think maybe before town meeting, just so that people before March yeah. 1st and before, yeah. and like as soon as possible. Yeah, we've got a lot of stuff going on before town meeting. Yeah, it's going to be a short time to do it. Yeah, there's no time to do it. The other issue that I know that had come up is committee members, and I think it was our intention that the committee is as we appointed it. So if you want to put more members, they need to be brought before the board. Ten Whoever's not on it right now is not on it, unless uh -huh. the, the guys bring them to the board. Again, you don't need a 14-person committee, I don't no, think. We'll never get it just becomes unwieldy. Yeah. So we're thinking five to seven people. Yeah. Anyone disagree with that? I don't want to speak no, no. to the whole board. Um, I, I think, you know, I think at the ARPA committee, if there was somebody interested in, and um, the committee was okay with it and they came to us right, to, bring it to, to us. recommend right. that we appoint someone that um, I would be okay with doing yeah, that. I, just want yeah. to, I don't want to end up with 15 right. no. or 8 because then it's Agreed. impossible to do anything. We'll get yeah, to the point that we're so far in that we would want to have to right, to add to somebody, right. but we do have I mean, they're public one meetings. person that might be interested in joining that would be an asset to us, yeah. I think. Because they're public meetings, so if someone wants to come participate in the right. meeting, they're welcome to do that. Exactly. Right. Yeah. They just aren't one of the right. voting right. members or however you're doing it. Right. Yeah. And we just wanted to stay out of your process too much, so, right? right. I mean, mm -hmm. no, that was the goal. Or we yeah. can do it. That's why it's better that, that way it kind of separates the, separate the approvers from the. Of sure. proposers, yeah. and you know, I think in any of the proposals, if there's just a question on the committee as well, you know, you know that's again, that's who the Katie and Grace Vincent, that's what that's their that's job, job. To, to help guide us. So, so definitely use use them. I was told today and informed by our um, Skip Marcasani, who's our IT guy, that the ARPA email that's on my computer cannot be on there. Okay, so if one of you wants to take control of the email, but it has to be deleted in order for my email to talk with my laptop that I have to work from home. I can't have two different emails on there, a Gmail and the town email. Is that no. where that ARPA email was going to, to you? I, I was Chance, wondering who that Chance set it up on my computer. Oh, interesting. Okay. So, um, yeah, that would be great for us to have, and yeah. then we could give it to people to... Right. They were to get a public records right. request. They're not honing out your computer for you. Right. Don't ask me why I know when that happens. How do we transfer that over to you? So I can give you the login. Um, and, well, Chance set it up. So I will Maybe get the backup could, on that. Yeah. And it's just a Google. It it's you. just a Gmail. It's a Gmail with a password. So all you got to do is get the, the email and the password and you own it. And then I'll disconnect it from She can just unhook it from her yeah, computer. Yeah, because it's got to come off in order for me to get it. Yeah. Okay. It's just a Gmail account, so all you need is the info and it can be yours. Perfect. Yeah, I think well, most of our questions have been answered. We, if you, Your email was helpful, and then also we mm -hmm. just had some questions about because we were joining 
jumping on the train in mid track and you mm -hmm. didn't know about some of these dates and that's what mm -hmm. I was supposed we to We didn't either. I heard the dates like I don't yeah. know anybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But those so. dates are strictly for me as as the Right, the reporting yeah. dates. That I have for sub recipient reports and or those whatever they pop call them. Up on my login. Yeah. Um, that I had to agree to. Okay. Are they quarterly reports? That's why I assume. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just say no activity. Yeah, basically. So at we this used point. to get those emails if yeah. you don't have the Gmail account? Yeah, it comes straight to my treasurer's Treasurer's email. Okay. The ARPA is just for the committee, yes. um, where it's convenient when I get stuff from VLCT just to send it over to ARPA that way, and then mm -hmm. it can flow to the board. Um, but that's easy enough. If, if Heather has it in hand, I can just bounce it to Heather, and then she can forward it. Mm -hmm. But I do have documents at the town office. I mean, we can print out, you know, 440 pages of... <laughs> no, no. Better, no, it's so better to look at it on your computer. To, uh, I have one hard copy if, if the board trees. wants to take it and review it. Let, let the people at VLCT and the Regional Planning Commission right? worry about figuring that out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, are we good with ARPA? Yeah, it's exciting work. No, thank you all for your work. Yeah, thank you for your work. For doing that work. Sorry it was a mess, but it was a mess when we got it, so. Yeah. It's, but now we have a final rule. We finally have a final rule months and months after we get the money, so don't be scared. <laughs> yeah, go through it and let me know. Just a little light reading for tonight. Can I, could, could it be possible for future ARPA presentations at the, for the select board that we do it closer to the beginning of the meeting? Yes. As, as interesting as yeah. the select board meetings are. No, really <laughs> <laughs> no. yeah. Yeah, yeah, this fun. kind of got put on at the end and I looked, boy, where am I going to put you that in? Do fun. I have to change all of this? <laughs> <laughs> so I really do find it interesting. I had a full head of hair when yeah. I took this yeah. <laughs> That's why uh, the Harvard town manager was first, so he wouldn't have to sit through the whole thing. But yes, we'll, we'll get you earlier in before the, all the boring time. stuff. <laughs> okay. I didn't um, boring. No, it was good. I thought it was a really interesting discussion. Actually, no, I agree. The uh, the town meeting stuff is. Yeah. Okay. So, so follow-ups, um, updates, and other business. Yeah. So I just wanted to give a quick update on the zoning notices of violation. Um, and I have forwarded uh, emails that uh, uh, Bob has yeah, been sending him. to me. So sounds like he's everything. Oh, uh, Monday left too quick. but um, And Mike did too. Too bad. Mm. Um, but anyway, it sounds like he's on it. He's on um, it. I saw that. And yeah. it's been vetting, vetting it by the lawyer. Yeah. Yeah. So, and, and apparently he has the the lawyer has vetted but the it's, notices. It and sounds like we may be needing to move with a um, health order. Yes. Potentially. So, yeah. is uh, the fellow that did it before willing to work with I, us? I can make that call. There's also a person at the health department that um, has is able to advise. If we need to do one, on I'd that. like to do it. I just don't yeah. have time to do it. And with Mike, with a statement that their people are running their sewage through a into pipe directly into the Sounds road. like emergency health order territory um, to me. And what the health, health department told me earlier is that if anything is transgressing beyond the property lines, right. then they will get involved. Right. So, so if, we need to do if that. If that were actually true, um, of course, you have to... We'd have to get a search warrant to go yeah. look. So I, I know the people to call to check in with that. So I'll okay. take I'll take that one on. Yeah, because if we if if we need to do emergency health or I just need to get someone who can do that. I think right. we just need to do it. Yeah. yeah. And whether um, Jay Copping would actually help do of course it, he would, or the state, advise. The state guy is supposed to step in when the town. Doesn't have the capacity. No, no, no. This has been a battle royale. They keep pushing it down to the town, and the town doesn't have the resources, and the state won't touch it. And to be honest with you, the state guy doesn't do a whole lot either. Yeah, they don't do anything, and then it ends up on our table. Uh, but anyway, um, let's see. Let's start. With the state of Vermont. And so that, that's pretty much it on the. Is there anybody have any other? Diana. I have a little update on FEMA. We signed okay. that uh, application to uh, expunge that wastewater permit, and that got approved. And the one thing I'm still waiting for is for chance to sign the uh, boundary line agreement. Okay. So, so if you want to mention that to him, have you called it. him and reached out to him? Well, not. I don't bug him, but oh, okay. He knows I wasn't aware. Okay. He knows it's waiting. <coughs> he had some problems figuring out what what was what, but 
All right. It's just, it's not a boundary line adjustment. It's just an agreement of where the surveyor the, found the line the can have straight, not crooked. Well, it's kind of crooked. Well, yeah. It starts the pins are set straight. It's oh. 12 feet from the pole and then all the way up to the top. I just walked it a month between ago. Between the pole and the... 12 feet from the pole toward the old store is the, where the pin should be. Okay. And then yeah. you go straight up the hill and it's on the top. It's the tax map shows it taking a turn, mm -hmm. which it doesn't take. Oh, anyway. I'll, I'll have him deal. I'll, I'll tell him. Ready to sign it, then it'll come to you guys to sign it. Okay. Now. I'll tell him to call you. I didn't realize it was One more step. Uh, dealt with. Anything else update wise? Skip. I'd love to clog up your calendars any further than they are. Uh, the town plan is in your hands. Mm -hmm. And you have 117 days now to approve it. <laughs> Sounds like Skip's counting them. So. It'll probably be after town meeting, is what I think I said last time, yeah. just because I don't think we're going to have time to have any here. Just before. another meeting. And we've got to get our little owl. We, you can, yeah, we can. We'll just squeeze one in. There's one Saturday left in February. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? If not, I would entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. I'll motion second adjourn. that. Is second? All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. <laughs> That's it. Thank you all.